All you have to do is understand Newton's third law of motion. Motion, motion. Motion, motion. Motion, motion. Newton's third law of motion. Motion, motion. Motion, motion. Motion, motion. Newton's third law of motion. And I fight back. I go boo. And I fight back. I go boo. And I fight back. I go boo. 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 I go boo. And I fight back. I go boo. And I fight back. I go boo. And I fight back. I go boo. Everybody here is watching undress you. Everybody here is watching Okay. Everybody here is watching undress you. Watching undress you. Watching undress you. Everybody here is watching undress you. Everybody here is watching Okay. Everybody here is watching undress you. Watching undress you. Newton third law of motion. Motion, motion. Motion, motion. Motion, motion. Newton third law of motion. Motion, motion. Motion, motion. Motion, motion. Newton's third law of motion. Maybe this is the former school teacher. It is so easy. This is too easy. Do you understand me? What a fucking pussy. Newton's third law of motion. Who cares? I don't really care anymore that much. You know, it's fine. Pump, pump it hard. Pump, pump, pump it hard. Pump it hard. Pump. Pumping hard, pump, pump, pumping hard. A real man. Pump, pumping hard, pump, pump, pumping hard, pumping hard. Benching chrome, that benching chrome. Get the juices flowing. Pump, pumping hard, pump, pump, pumping hard, pumping hard, pump, pumping hard, pump, pump. Get the guns ready. Pump, pumping hard, pump, pump, pumping hard, pumping hard. Benching chrome, that benching chrome. I go hard. Pump, pump it hard, pump, pump, pump it hard, pump it hard. Benching chrome, bed, benching chrome, bed, 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 benching chrome. Pump, pump it hard, pump, pump, pump it hard, pump it hard. Benching chrome, bed, benching chrome, bed, 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 benching chrome. Pump, pump it hard, pump, pump, pump it hard, pump it hard. Benching chrome, bed, benching chrome. Get the juices flowing. Pump, pump it hard, pump, pump, pump it hard, pump it hard. Benching chrome, bed, benching chrome, bed, 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 benching chrome. Pump, pump it hard, pump, pump, pump it hard, pump it hard. Benching chrome, bed, benching chrome. Get the guns ready. Pump, pump it hard, pump, pump, pump it hard, pump it hard. Benching chrome, bed, benching chrome, bed, 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 benching chrome. Pump, pump it hard, pump, pump, pump it hard, pump it hard. Benching chrome, bed, benching chrome. I go hard. A real man get benching crow. Just fucking Puerto Rican. It's just hard to have a conversation with the the young ones, you know? Oh, I don't have a problem with it. And by the way, who's fucking having conversations anyway? And then we had sex. This girl had me was from New Zealand. Banging on the fucking walls and the ceiling. She was so loud, like, be quiet, man. Banged her head against the fucking door jam. She would time me up for like a half hour. Every time she came, I swear, she sang opera. Bad enough, they fucked my mother. Baby, I'm sorry, but I'm a real good lover. Body, yeah. I with the body, man. I with the body, yeah. I with the body, man. I with the body, yeah. I with the body, 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 I pop a dick pill, run to the car, I pop a dick pill, run to the car, I pop a dick pill, pop a dick pill, pop a dick pill. Oh, come on, man, she's so fucking hot. Oh, come on, man, she's so fucking hot. Oh, come on, man, she's so fucking hot. She's so fucking hot. She's so fucking hot. Look at her in a little fucking Lulu lemons. Look at her in a little fucking Lulu lemons. Look at her in a little fucking Lulu lemons. 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 Lulu lemons
lemons, and then and then once he gets there, he goes, oh, I didn't realize you were stuttering John. Holy shit. You know, you're like this, the hottest man in the world, you get laid all the time. Hot with a body. Yeah. Hot yeah. with a body, man. Yeah. Hot yeah. with a body. Yeah. Hot yeah. with a body, man. Yeah. Hi with the body, yeah. Hi with the body, man. Hi with the body, yeah. Hi with the body, man. Hi with the body, yeah. Hi with the body, man. Hi with the body, yeah. Hi with the body, man. Hi with the body, yeah. Hi with the body, man. Hi with the body, yeah. Hi with the body, man. Hi with the body, yeah. Hi with the body, man. Hi with the body, yeah. And then and then we continue having sex. It's a good one. I've been there. Can you show me a picture? I told the world. Dog, 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 I told dog, the world. as a child, I was bullied as a father, but in elementary school, that is an act of violence. They all hate fucking with my guests, fucking with my friends, fucking with my family, that is an act of violence. I told the world, dog, 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 fucking coward. Dog, 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 I told dog, the world. I don't wear wife's name, I don't wear kids' name, I don't wear Facebook, I don't wear Instagram, I don't wear LinkedIn, I don't wear phone number having a bit of war. I don't wear wife's name, I don't wear kids' name, I don't wear Facebook, I don't wear Instagram, I don't wear LinkedIn, I don't wear phone number having a bit of war. I hope the world I'm old school. I don't believe in anonymity. Uh. <laughs> For the Uncle Rico Show. It's time for the Uncle Rico Show. So chug a cause, cause here we go. It's the 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 Please, Mr. Trumpet, give us a little toot, will ya? Do, 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 do. Thank you all for coming here and spending your Saturday night with us. It means a lot. I Thank mean, you. unbelievable. Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to the world-famous Uncle Rico Show with your world-famous Uncle Rico host. These two gentlemen do not have neighbors or dates tonight. They are live bringing you the funny. You know them as the shoey, and you know them as the Reverend Bob Long Dog Levy. I am going to suck him off. Woo, I'll baby. suck your dick. Come on. Mm. We're here. We're here. Let's start it off right. Uh, it's very patriotic. I'm feeling very patriotic. John, please, national anthem. Everybody, take your hat off. Come on, let's go. Oh, say, can you see by the dawn's early light what so proudly? Cut off. God damn it, Frog. Why? Why Why would why? you do it? The one part that we need to hear, and you got to go into business for yourself. <sighs> Take God that damn. off your soundboard. I don't want to ever hear it again. Yeah, you're done with it. It's ruined. 
I, I don't even want to play it now. You got the words wrong. But frog shit all over it. That's right, it. Let's, let's play it real quick. What so proudly we watch. <laughs> <laughs> that was it. He left off. Uh, we, he got to we watched, realized it's not part of the song, and left. <laughs> <laughs> but it is a great night because Mike Morse is not here again. Ah, baby, that's right. Mike Morse is uh, not here, and that's why there's over, well, there's just about to hit a 1,000 people that are here, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome. Hit the like button wow. to keep Mike out. Hit subscribe to stay here and keep tabs on us. And hit notification so you know when we're live on a Saturday night or a Friday night in Flint, wherever yeah. we are. You you find out by hitting notification. And, of course, there's the membership thing. Look, it helps the channel. It helps the people. We're not doing well. You hear it. You see it. Numbers don't lie. So if you want to help us out, a membership would be great. Uh, five gets you in, ten gets you everything. You can do it here. You can do it on Patreon. Uh, you choose whatever works for you. And there's a good chance that you might be gifted a fake membership here on the channel by a lot of fake viewers and bots. Um, I don't know how it works. I give a foreigner the money to do it. So yes. it's just, it gets done. Uh, one day we will make money. I don't know if it's today, but if you're feeling like maybe you want a free gifted fake membership, there's a link in our uh, description of the show. It'll take you to your fake set to your settings where you can turn on, I don't know if your settings are fake, probably, you're all fake, turn on accept fake gifted memberships, and that way you will be gifted a fake membership, and everybody can go on about their day. Just that simple. Thank you. Shut it off. Don't play it anymore. Uh, baby Satchmo's ready to gift. Come on, let's go. One, Mike Morse. Two, two. Mike Morse. Three. Mike Morse. Four. I eat cock. Five. Look behind me. Wow, the, the 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 Quinella, as they like to call it in the horse racing. Thank you, I.O. Susanner, gift in one. I told you, the fakes are out. Good evening, boys. A good mm. evening, Fancy Hippo. Thank you. Well, one of my fave, Mojo, can you all help me? Everyone says they split Shuli Show money seven ways Wait. between Shuli, Bob, Mike, Zen, Frog, and Don. That is six. Who is the seventh? Obviously, it's not an even split, but still. There's actually 12 Mojo. So, yeah. and uh, the others don't want to be named. They they work, they work for free and in fear. RDC Anthony membering up all by himself. Behind my paywall. This guy started as a, a gifty, and now he's saying, "You've earned my, you've earned my money, boys. Here, wow. take it. Appreciate it. Thank you." May Philip address the nurse incident. Thank you. Yes, you can see Philip address the nurse incident by going back in the archives uh, about seven or eight months ago when it was a topic of conversation and we broke it down and busted his balls and talked about it on the BS show, I believe. So, yes, it was a BS show. Yeah, I don't know what number episode that is, but it is out there. Uh, Mr. Crom, gift in five. Let's really go. Really, pay you? Uh huh. Really. Uh, Walt, where you been all my life? He's gifting one. I'm let's go. Always sober. I understand. Fuck yeah, let's go. Hellraiser sixty nine. You know that dude means business. I need pumping hard bench and curl on extended remix for the gym. Uh, hashtag save Bob's hair. Hashtag that's your trumpet. Do 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 do. That's yeah. what he's doing there. Radmatic. Thank you. Radmatic. Sorry. Hey, retro gamer dropping a dime. Let's Suck go. My dick. Uh, uh, I swallow come. Hey, penis. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, retro. Uh, Josh Johnson gifted one. Hey, the Johnsons Get are up back. Your knees, Dave. You're embarrassing yourself. Uh, Levy, Spider Alomar is live now saying he is involved with you, Slapjaw, and Timothy Smallwood. And keep your eyes out. You have any input? I have no idea what he's talking about, nor will I, because it makes no sense. And I'm <laughs> I like, sorry. I like, <laughs> hey, look at our girl, little Lemmy. Little Lemmy. Lemmy. You, you might have to be a guest on uh, the Kate Leno show when that thing gets up and running. I think an appearance from you on there would be good. Hey, look at this. It's our band leader, little Lemmy. She wants to kill me. Uh, it's a weird <laughs> dynamic we have here, but. 
you know, eventually somebody here will kill me. I've been stealing money for blow uh, for years. So we're all broke. We'll be right back with Chubba Wumba. Chubba Wumba. Uh, I don't have any other meetings going on. Okay, <laughs> fucking Tiger Lily. I think she wrote it. Oh my God. <laughs> meetings. Can you imagine what kind of meetings Bob has? Uh, Korean Idol, Shu Lee Ju. Thanks for the gifted, uh, Mr. Crumb. I love free shit. <laughs> Thank you. That is a Shuli Jew, after all. I think the comparison uh, to Eric the Midget is an insult to Eric the Midget. You know, Christy, it's funny. The more you get to know John, the more it is an insult to Eric. Absolutely. Um, is it wrong that I love Bob? Nan Cram, no. absolutely not. Not at all. And Doom, I love it, you, Bob. Doom, I'm not working with Slap Jor. <laughs> Slap Jor. <laughs> That's a guy's. I don't even know. <laughs> I love when they start their own conspiracy theories with people they know, but we don't, and they just get their names out on shows. It's good. I like it. Nan Cram, is it wrong that we love you? Absolutely not. Let's love each other. We need more airline pilot by <laughs> Shuli. So many missed opportunities with John Spirit Air Flight. All right. I'll, I'll take that into consideration, Retro. <laughs> <laughs> That's funny. Josh, thank you, pal. Again. Oh, baby, Darwin Nunes. Let's go. Let's fucking go, bird. Do you see that shit today? Woo. Come yeah. on. Uh, despite the tough talk, Stuttering John is a theater kid reject. Yeah. A hundred percent. Smoking the last of my shatter tonight. Even better without Mike. Love you, Bob. Uh, Thank you, Mr. You White. Love you, Mr. White. It is so much. It, it, it just feels right. You know, it feels Mr. Right. Agreed. Agreed. Mr. White, Mr. Wright, gift in one. What? Let's go all night. Come on. Uh, Sal Governale, good dude. Yeah, I got no I got no bad things to say about Sal. Uh, enjoyed working with him. He's a good dude. You know, good guy, man. When Mike and Zen are out, does Bob get a bigger cut? Absolutely. Absolutely. Everybody. Everybody's money goes up when those guys are out. It's great, Dan. Yeah, especially with Zen, just we we charge by weight around here. <laughs> he's he's fucking not doing anything tonight. He's so afraid of that fucking neighbor upstairs, that fucking coward, that big coward, a big right. baby he is. You know what I mean? It's no, like, I understand, you but know? you're you you told the story before the show about you having a neighbor that complained about something, and you went and basically threatened the neighbor to their face. Now look, it worked. But not everybody takes that approach with problems, you know. Did you throw a drink at him while there was a lounge no, band playing? It, it was in the morning. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> RDC member for eight months. Thank you. you dumb fuck. <laughs> uh, one hand clapping. No god. Thank you, buddy, for the uh, two month membership. Uh, Dupa Dupa Do gifting a membership. Thank you, Dupa. What? Thank you. Uh, Vincent predicted this. Mike is gone. What's up? Ask Vincent. He knows everything. Yeah. He's got to be thing. happy. He's gone. You know yeah. what I mean? <laughs> he's got <laughs> That's his, the main thing. <laughs> he's got his finger on the pulse of this uh, network. <laughs> it's a beautiful and, night. It rained all day, but I'll tell you what, the sun is out somewhere tonight. Somewhere. Yeah. It's like so you give somebody a burger and they want to know how it's made. Enjoy the fucking burger. Who gives a shit? It's got no yeah. mic in it. So the burger's delicious. In a rut, gift in one. Thank you, in a rut. Thank you. James, thank you for gift in one. Appreciate it, buddy. And you? Uh, I'm stranded due to weather here in California, eating mm. at a steakhouse, drinking right. a martini, and listening to Rico. Eugene, listen to this. Speaking of California, I have a live update for you guys. That's why I have my special edition mm -hmm. background. Actually, that's not true. I just forgot to change it to this one. Uh, but I do have some breaking news. You know, John. Wait has a minute. Been we just got this in. The breaking news. Breaking news. Okay. You know, John uh, Melendez. You familiar with his work? I've heard of him. Right. So, John. Hey. Hey, uh, kills me. John has been MIA today. No, not really a lot of action on Twitter. Hmm. Not really. Uh, no show schedule. So you're wondering, well, where's Johnny at? Well, Let's send him a link. We have our people out there. Wow. And our uh, yeah, our people have contacted and said that uh, 
This is this is what I'm hearing. This is the latest. We interrupt our regularly special program. Wait a minute. We just got this in. Breaking news. Breaking news. One John Melendez has been at the pub for over three and a half hours. Oh, my God. And is on his way home right now. John, mm -hmm. hi. I know you're watching in the Uber. Uh, and should do a show tonight. John, I'm saying you should do a show tonight and really unload on Vince. If there's a God, he will. If there's a God, you will. I'll help promote it. I'll tweet it. I'll send some people over there. Do a show tonight and really let that Vince have it. That's what I say. Especially if you've been at a bar for close to four hours. Go on. I don't care what you say. Just go wonder, on tonight. I wonder what the food special was tonight. Oh. Or do you think he gets him? Uh, <laughs> DJ Devil says, please, Papa needs a new single. Go on tonight. <laughs> uh, you think he's asking the Uber driver to swing by a 7-Eleven and, uh, you oh, know, yeah. so he can pick up some dinner? Maybe it could be a long night, but send, send them a link. I say we bring them here. Sure, sure. Send them to uh, Magellan yeah. Gift in Five. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> he comes on this show. It's over. It's the whole thing's over. The whole party. Everybody leaves. I leave. That guy's never coming on here. Yeah. Robin Cali, let's go. Do I have to pay for it. Uh, RDC Anthony, let's go. Stableverse is not fucking friendly. Shuli is the future. Enjoy the party. Bounce the cat. Love you some mm -hmm. bounce over there, Bubba. Uh, Fug Lee. Does Bob mm -hmm. Horn go? Go, go ahead, Bob. You read. This is a technical on your horn. Let me thing. see. I can write. I can read music. Do, 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 da, do, 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 do. No. Mm -hmm. It says it sounds anti-Semitic sometimes. Uh, hope you can read this. Not sure fake accounts can super chat. Well, look <laughs> at that. It works. As long as you're super chatting fake money, the super chat will go, fake super chat will go through. Gift in five. Run I back. Because I don't want to miss the fucking game. Uh, I was gifted one. Got to gift one. Mm -hmm. You know that, Big O. Come on. You know the rules around here. There you go. Give a and little. I take a little. Come on. Uh, just got in from dinner, and we are settled in for TSN. Uh, uh, he, wants, he wants a little uh, Orson Welles there, Frog. He's not dead. Ah, the French. Thank you. You thought I was peeing, didn't you, Bob? Wow. You're always peeing. Peeing oh, right no. in my face with that goddamn national anthem segment that just ruined the whole start of the goddamn show. We'll talk after. Shut it off. I hate it. <laughs> Bob, Barb, sing. You're my wonder wall. Morse free Mart skull is, is the best thing that could happen to many people. If only he can eat, be eaten by a shark somehow <laughs> before he comes home. Before they, uh, they, they mail his fucking body in seven different packages. What's wrong with you? Why would you do that to a shark? And force him to eat Mike. What's wrong with you? Delete eat anything. <laughs> Hulk Hogan is the seventh man. I heard it was Mabel. Mabel's supposed to be the seventh man. Mm -hmm. But maybe I'm wrong. Uh, go ahead, Bob. Spelling <laughs> is the best. I thought you were acting like your camera froze so you wouldn't have to read it because you didn't move. I got, that's a pretty good prank. Member for nine months. Patreon Patreon since the beginning. Mm. Shuli fan since 06. Love you, Nan Cramp. Thank you very much. OG of OGs right there. The original Nikki B in the house, ladies and gentlemen. The one, the only. Although I could, eat cock. Could be a fake account. I don't know. But mm -hmm. uh, in 1992, Perry Caravello blew a dude. Hashtag <laughs> never forget. That was Not his to first mention, love. We learned, la I learned last night that while working as a delivery driver, <laughs> Perry up at a delivery asked the homeowners if he could use their restroom and took a giant shit in their bathroom. <laughs> and they got a call and fired him. <laughs> well, of course they fired him. I mean, what do you think? They got a call and congratulated him? Of course they fired him. <laughs> If you could send me the John clip of him singing uh, Ride, Ride of the Valkyries, I could record something of that. I'm not on X Twitter, but I am on Facebook. Uh, Reptilian, I don't even know that we have it. Do we have that? I don't uh, think so. 
Yeah. Badass Bob Levy fact of the day. When Bob enters a room and flips the switch, instead of turning the lights on, Bob turns the dark off, bitch. <laughs> the dark off. <laughs> kahuna, kahuna Nui. Thank you, brother. Mm -hmm. Mahalo. Uh, just found out I got to have surgery soon. Oh, well, that yeah. sucks, Tommy. Yeah, hopefully it's an easy one. A lot of them are. Yeah. Bob is happier than a kid on Christmas morning right now. Hashtag no remorse. <laughs> it, it's an amazing feeling that, you know what I mean? It, right. Oh, freedom. It's, uh, yeah. It's freedom. It's what, it's what the troops are over there fighting for guys. Yeah. Uh, where's Iso? Iso's here, Bubba. Iso's always here. Yeah. Uh, I said something as quick and as funny as you guys once 20 years ago and still smile about it. You guys do it 30 times a day. Mm. Comedy is a hell of a gift. Yeah. Uh, hey, you guys are a hell of a gift. Without you guys, nobody's here to listen to comedy. So thank you. SJ bought 3,000. Oh, Jesus. Yeah. Fucking Christ. Uh, this is, uh, no, okay. Man. This is fake. Thank God. Okay, no, we right? just get, your mic's muted, Mike. Mike, can he not hear us? Just get rid of him. He can. Get rid of him. You can hear us? Just get rid of him. Maybe. Keep, all right. He's gone. Oh, thank God. Uh, SJ bot, but yourselves something nice. Buy yourself something nice. Not expensive. Nice. Mm. Thank you very much. Thank you. Oh, now he's back as Spider Alomar. <laughs> no, what, well, Mike, been, it's not funny. <laughs> we we didn't get rid of Spider from the meeting before the show. With slap face. What was it? <laughs> slap tooth. What was his name? I, I don't know. Uh, hello, hello, Shuli and, and Bob Rule. Oh, Moose. Thank you, me. Joe. Hey, up, buddy? Moose. Miss you, pal. Yeah. He has one of the best voices ever. Yeah. He talks, he sounds like Joe a little bit, like Frog. Oh, hey, guys. <laughs> <laughs> the bulge is my tobacco pouch. Love you, Julie. Uh, quote Beat. Uh, that's Beat. from Beat. Beat used to call me Julie all the time. Yeah. Hey, Bob, was your beef with Ronnie the time with Beetlejuice just a bit, or did you guys not get along? See you schmucks in Huntington Beach, albeit. No, we get along. It was, uh, I came up with an idea that Beetle was going to take Ronnie's job. Yes. And he got all dressed up in a suit, and we took him up there. Is that what you're talking about? I don't know. Yeah, I think it was that. Uh, no, Ronnie was fun. I'm sure yeah. they didn't like me after when I left, the way I left, but yeah. <laughs> I got along with everybody. John, there's a tournament going on. You can't just walk through a karate tournament. Where is he? Oh, there he in is. The Wait, what about the area? I'm looking all around like, what the fuck? And he's on the side. This is a big valley karate tournament, John. Uh, Levy, slap John Timothy Smallwood, <laughs> the new powerhouse team out there. At Dalver, smoke detectors beeping again. At Doom, don't tell Levy's secret. <laughs> there's a whole world going on out I there. I can't do anything. Enough of the sour puss dude. Where's Mike? He's my favorite. <laughs> I knew there was something I didn't like about you. God damn it, funeral director. Uh, Muttering Vince says Gina Bobina and Stuttering John are the new power couple of the Dalverse. Oh, my God. Uh, Slapjaw is Kate Meany's stage name. Oh, I didn't. <laughs> Riddle me this. Mark from Canada is actually Sean. Hockey Canada 25. Oh, wow. Get the fuck out of here. Mind blown. Where's Iso? <laughs> Hold on. Let me check. I know <laughs> I'd leave it around here somewhere. Uh, Iso is actually in the Spider Man mask. Uh, Gifted one. Thor's. Metallica. Yeah, yeah. Feel direct. Serious question on info. Does Vin's popularity make Shuli net, Shuli net worry? Vin's becomes Vin becomes top and may affect monetary distribution negatively. What's Bob's percentage? Uh, this is all really fascinating stuff that you should probably save for Vince's show mm -hmm. since this is all he talks about. Uh, we are well, we are moving forward, funeral director. And no, I'm not worried about anything with Vince other than picking up his bar tab after he comes to say hi to friends. Bob, they're telling us you have to go. How dare you? Oh, you fucking motherfucker. How dare you? How did the family emergency turn out? It was amazing. It was electrifying. You guys should have been there. Uh, my fiance is a 
is in New Orleans at her bachelorette party, and I'm home by myself in Scottsdale listening to Rico. Couldn't be happier. Hashtag, there is no us band. Bob, Oasis sucks, but you're the man oh, still. Look at that. Yeah, good. Funeral director, everyone okay after emergency? Can we have more info? <laughs> yes, everyone's okay. No, you cannot. But thank you for asking. Shul hey, Looney Tunes critic. Shuli, to celebrate my five months, put in a good word uh, in with me at the, to the original Nikki B. I love black girls. Hook me up. Tell her I have small fists. He has small <laughs> fists, Nikki. Uh, hey, Weasel Tales, celebrating nine months. Great day today. Birthday party for my sweet Olivia grandbaby turning nine. Uh, who, oh, who, turning three. Gr grand boy number nine, nine who turned three. Grandkids are a gift. Again, thanks, boys, for the love. You got a weasel Anytime, tail. Brother. Mazel, baby. Mazel. So, Patch Silent Martini Mike. So, Patch Silent Martini Mike. I really thought he was here, and it just upset me. You know, I know. I really, I really did. And it's just a bad feeling. Uh, thanks for the membership, Shuli. Thank God we don't have to deal with that pesky Morse and all his input. Ah, fuck. There he is. Yep. Ham hands. There he Let's is. Let's go to the board. Oh. <laughs> Bob, any cookies yet? Yeah, yeah. I'll take more, but. <laughs> Stuttering John was shoveling for $20 an hour. He lasted 30 minutes. <laughs> oh, look at him. He's at the, at the Bill stadium shoveling snow. <laughs> uh, I wonder if Perry yells while on the toilet. He definitely has to make sound. Yeah. You know that's happening. He makes a lot of noise. Well, hello there. <laughs> hello, Dill Dog. How are you? Dog is so funny. Uh, NJ Ranger, you guys, my day yesterday after Ingrate uh, Maru Melendez uh, refused my super chat, an hour plus of Vince the Lawyer. Thank you for doing my tag. Can't wait to start clipping. Work. Thank you, NJ. Cookie time. Let's go. Mm. Uh, Bob, my favorite moment of you in ONA was when you rescued poor Bobo from being extorted by a nefarious cab driver. Great story, and you're a nice guy. Yeah, that was weird. Yeah. Uh, oh, hey, Frog. Oh, hey, Strangeland 77. Boo. Levy, oh, we God. know about you and Slapjaw. We talked to Worm and Stinkfinger about it. Stop hiding from Doom. The turn. New video out now with lots of Bob. Oh, Jesus Christ, they know. <sighs> they know. Uh, Donna, thank you for the gifted. Windows update, download now. <laughs> Two weeks sober, thanks to this drunk. Atta boy, Leland. Thank you, pal. Congrats. Must admit, Vince is, uh, must admit, Vince is doing a great job trolling Stuttering John. Well, I mean, it's not like he just started doing it. <laughs> He's doing it for years. Bob, are you like a dad to Shuli or just comedy teach? Hmm? There you go. Bob is made of antimatter. He could eat a black hole. <laughs> Wagga wacka. And, and I have. All uh, when all the hams unite, the world will end. Oh, people, people yeah. are drinking some shit tonight, huh? Yeah, it's good. I was chuckling while eating my steak. Uh, waiter heard me and asked that what. Asked what I was listening to. Turns out he's an Uncle Rico fan and told me Skull. No way. I don't believe. This is like when Captain Jenks used to call Howard. Yeah, yeah. I drove and, off the road. Right, right, right. Like some stripper would be on. He'd be like, How Howard? He goes, I'm on. Uh, I, was on I was on the uh, phone on hold, and then I heard a big bang outside, and it's four-car pileup, and I walked over, and this guy's bleeding. He comes out, and he goes, Did you hear that segment on Howard? Was that great or what? <laughs> But uh, Eugene's never lied to us before, so I believe yeah, I him. Yeah. You guys ever come into Rhode Island? I mean, I don't know. We'll definitely look into it. I love that club out there. The awesome. uh, connection. connection. Yeah. Comedy connection out in Rhode really Island. Good. good people out there. Yeah, we should definitely reach out. And Vinny see. Paz will come out. I haven't seen him in a while. Oh, I think a lot of people will come out. He's a good man. I need a Windows update. Oh, hey, Discount Don. Window oh, yeah. update. Oh, hey, Dill Dog. Jill dog. All right, uh, boys, we got a package ready to rock here. This is the rest of last night. Plus, we got some bonus shit we're going to fuck around with and throw out yeah. there every now it's and then. It's a celebration of Mike not being here, basically. Right. So sit back and enjoy. I Thanks. do have a couple shorter clips loaded in here, too, surely. 
All okay. right, you want to start with those? Yeah, they're always fun. Are they? Go what ahead. are they? New or old? No. So these are old. This first one is so old that I do not even recognize the room that he's in. Um, but uh, even though the room's different, you'll be surprised. John still the same. This yeah, just this is came this is upon behind me behind the buffoon. The beginning yeah. of the buffoon. So I know this room. So this is when he used to do his podcast with Royce, I believe. And this is, I think, in Royce's place. Maybe. I could be wrong. Maybe it's at his actual old house. I don't know. But I don't know if he was podcasting when he still had that that mansion. But I, I've definitely seen him in this setup before. This just came upon me. The person reached out to me and said he was a private investigator. And guess what? He found out exactly who the person is <laughs> that is taking my beer on the balconies and posting it on Reddit. So he hired a private investigator to find out who's taking his Patreon link and putting it on Reddit. I believed it more when he said it was find out who took my beer from the balcony. <laughs> and I thought it was going to end it there. <laughs> <laughs> We know your name. We know your social security number. We know where you live. I might divulge the state. Wow. The doxing's always been in his blood, people. You think this just started? This is who I've said it a million times. This is who he is. Don't get it twisted. All you motherfuckers that want to help him, get ready. This is coming your way at the end of the show of where you live. But I know who you are. Thank you, private investigator. Thank you very much. And I won't say his name. I'll just call him Magnum. All right. Let's just call him Magnum. That's it. I'm telling you, we know who you are. The person might even be here in the chats right now. But I'll promise you one thing. On Tuesday's show, that person is going to be blocked. Whoa. So that person is amongst us right now. Whoa. There's a traitor amongst us, and I will block thee. Uh-uh. -uh. I think I I think maybe I even said his name. Uh I have. His name, wait, where'd it go? His name is Dick Malik McClicker. <laughs> or her. I'm not gonna, I'm not divulging anything right now. But I will say where, what state they live in at the end of this show. And then on Tuesday, they will be blocked from the chat. Because Howard taught me how to tease something. To right. The end. Right. Stay tuned and uh, dry, prime time. We'll release his social security number at the eight o'clock hour, guys. Stay tuned. Mm -hmm. Give us a call. Uh, that was great. That's great to go back and still start. see how dumb he was and how into giving out people's private information. The best. What else you got? All right. So this one, we've heard him tell this story many times. So I think this might be the origin story of the Carl Patreon He's got my audio book up there. All right. Go! Whoa. First of all, <laughs> that echo. Welcome to Beer on the Balcony. <laughs> this content is only for my Patreon and you. Go! <laughs> from a wine cellar. Hey, my co-host today, Bin Laden. We're in a cave. YouTube <laughs> uh -uh. member. Any unauthorized use, i.e. posting it on your show, posting any clips of this show on... Uh, I don't know if you can hear me. I'm way down here, but Facebook Stars is a way for me to make money. <laughs> your show, without the express consent. Eventually, Leon baseball. <laughs> <laughs> I will follow this up. I have a private investor. Can you hear me? Hello? Okay. It's strictly prohibited. You hear that, dummy? As you know. Stop throwing change down here. I'm in a well. Get me out. There's a show that is obsessed with me. 
obsessed with my fame, obsessed with my accomplishments, and can only profit from talking about me. This show, I have <laughs> obviously said, that's not me. <laughs> I had a conference call with Patreon and Patreon support legal on Friday. Hello, is this Mr. or Mrs. Patreon? It's a pleasure to speak to you finally. I talked to Mrs. Patreon. She's pretty hot. She's pretty hot, man. She really knows how to talk dirty on the phone, too. <laughs> Sounded like she was recording me, but I'm not sure. Which went really well. I'm not going to now have to talk about what transpired on the call, but I will tell you that I'm very happy with what they promised to do. And I had to do a takedown because this loser decided to post my beer on the balcony on his own show. Now he did a counter saying that this is not copyright. I mean, it's fair use. Well, guess what, dummy? You apparently don't know YouTube's terms of service. Okay? So I'm going to read it for you right now. You can't. Guess what? I don't know it either. You can't mm -hmm. post something that is only for my channel. Now, now can I point something out real quick, Shuli? Sure. You've heard him in his explanation defending going after Carl's Patreon talk about how he didn't know about fair use and how Royce explained it to him and then he yeah. knew about it. This is well after he was working with Royce. Correct. Correct. I had a long chat with YouTube today and told me the exact same thing. Not a lot. I'll see you in court. Now put, put, throw down a rope or a ladder. Uh -uh. Fucking emptiness mm -hmm. of his place. Oh, I love it. Uh, thank you, Froggy. I'll take that down. All right. We got the package here. We got a few more super chats. Bob, mm -hmm. surely skipped. Are you like his? I didn't skip. He didn't answer. What do you want? Uh, uh, Bob, are you my comedy instructor? No, you not want that I know of. Love. Okay. Thank you. I'd like my money back if he is, because he hasn't sent me any lesson plans. He hasn't <laughs> he hasn't done anything with me. Had to quit cookies and smoke. What? Uh, TSN, my last reason to live. Jesus Christ. Wow. Wow. We'll get you back on weed. Just sit tight. Bob could eat a black hole without missing a beat. And I have. Last my, <laughs> last my fucking has a blue cheese necessary. Fucking love this guy. <laughs> Uh, no mic, no board. Great time. Look at that. Huh? I would never lie. Of course you wouldn't lie, Eugene. I said that afterwards. Uh, Doom, can't wait for you to reveal your evidence of <laughs> Levy would slap John Timothy Smallwood, including Spider saying he is involved also. My God, it's all falling apart. <laughs> Phillips, playing old <laughs> Phillips playing old clips. May he find Nurse Clip? He may. <laughs> you may find it, too. Oh, Kate Meany. Hi, Daddy's friends. Hi, Kate. <laughs> hey, these guys are my dad's friends. I told them they sucked, and they pointed out that uh, I love anal and coke, so I guess we're even. All right. We'll be right back with uh, Living Color, Cult of Personality. They're awesome. All black guys. Oh, wait. No, don't put it back on me when I say all black. All black guys. All right, thank you. We'll be right back. Uh, John Kaludi gifted one. Thank you, John. Pat. Uh, I went to Bob's kitchen and they gave me extra nappins. Love you, Bob. Love you, brother. That's right. Uh, how does Stuttering John feel about no longer owning a chair? <laughs> is that is that confirmed? Uh, anyone know why Phil Elmore quit? Info appreciated. Mm. Four super fans. Thank you. No idea. Yeah. Uh, somebody drew a T on my forehead with a marker. <laughs> Ryan, hey, that's terrible. Nice. Hey, there must be an aspect of narcissism that needs to expose people as a threat. 
I am reminded of Opie and Erock's phone number incident. Interesting. That's a good pick. Hey, KFT in the house. Carl is a made man. Don't mess with him, John. Agreed. An attack on Carl. Yeah, I'm sure, I'm sure he cleans the house. <laughs> yeah. He's a made man. French made man. Uh, <laughs> can you imagine how many lies he's told his family, wife, and kids over the years? I can't. I can't. Uh. Tap Kid coming to you from the future. Tomorrow, Stuttering John will get drunk, tell lies, and threaten to sue someone. Look at you looking, mm -hmm. uh, calling your shot and nailing it. All right, let's get into this. Yeah. So this is the rest. We got the rest of him and uh, 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 Vince, and then we have him, I think, going off on Mike Bichetti, the boys told wow. me so. Which, who, I mean, how can anyone go off on Mike Bichetti? He's a sweetheart. I don't know how you can get mad at him. Unless you sold hats. Well, you're, right. If you're a hat seller, then Mike is not on your favorite person's list. I agree with that. All right, let's go. Uh, let's see. If you had to guess what the worst thing Susanna could say to you if she was interviewed by the newspaper, what would it be? Okay. Rip Torn. <laughs> I need an answer to my question. You can just go to a super John, channel. you and KB, I'm not bringing up Susanna. Why? Uh. John, you and KB are the same person, you moron, because they're not going down that route. D John, it's a hypothetical question. We talk about Susanna all the no, time. I'm, I don't think you say anything bad about me. That's what I'm saying. So, like, what would be the worst thing she would ever say about it if you had to guess? Well, just what I said. I neglected her when I was fucking working 14 hours a day. Yeah, but every husband neglects their wives after <laughs> a certain period of time. Oh, no. Look, look, Susanna was a great wife, great mother, beautiful, great body. I mean, Jesus. you know, I mean, I mean, huge was, titties, huge Jewish huge Long Island titties, natural yeah. titties. And uh, I don't have anything bad to say about her. And I never have. But if she had to say one bad thing about you, the worst thing, what would it be? I have OCD. But that's not <laughs> your on. fault, though. No. Is that is that code for uh, alcoholism? I mean, no. I have OCD. But she knows that I, you know, I had, you know, touching, you know, I had, you know, I had different kind of rituals. I had to touch other vaginas on the road. It was part of my OCD. <laughs> There's no pill for that, honey. Honey, what do you want? I'm. It's a disease. I'm <laughs> suffering. <laughs> I'm sick. Sometimes <laughs> I need to squeeze new boobs. Don't you understand? That I would do, you know, but that's... You know. Did that impact her negatively in the marriage? No, no. In fact, I remember once she's at a... Because at one time I was smoking cigars, you know? Yeah. And she put um, a cigar ash on the wall and she said, John, you know what? Just press this, you know, press, this is a button. So when you get these OCD thoughts, just t press it and then, you know, and then you can, you don't have to worry about it. And then Jeez, the floor the, opened the up underneath like, them. <laughs> yeah. Like, imagine what you have to do with this idiot. Like, she's taking ash and making a dirt spot on the wall and going, this is a button. That you push when you have, yeah, shove them into the pool. What are you wasting your time with this idiot for? Yeah. Go for the Vince uh, sip again. There's nothing like it. There's like oh. it would take him to get drunk on wine. I would say three days. Yeah, it's 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 a joke. Like, and who shows off with wine? Yeah, but like to to not even take any out. That's what I'm saying, like it's for show. Uh, we interrupt our regularly special program. Wait a minute. We just got this in. Breaking news. Breaking news. A uh, message from uh, Phil Elmore. Uh, mm -hmm. I believe funeral director wanted to know why he quit. It says, you may read this. <clears throat> mm -hmm. I quit because I wasn't having fun. I got obsessed with subscriber and super chat numbers and realized those were controlling my day to day moods. That's no way to live. I'm much happier, focused on my writing work. Best to everyone. The great Phil Elmore, ladies and gentlemen. Yeah. You know? You got to do what when, makes you happy. When it stops being fun, stop doing it. Yep. That's See you all. later. Turn them out of here. Everybody have a good night. <laughs> Weird kind of like spiritual healers or whatever. Oh, do that. they have crystals there? Not crystals, but I was on a table trying to like out the OCD. I mean, it was oh, fun. really? <laughs> That's fucking weird.
I know. Oh, so but crystals are are goofy. But he's on a table with a magician pretending to get his OCD out of him. And but he it. outed OCD. Oh, I'm sure he did. <laughs> I doxed OCD. I told him where it was from, where it lives. Goes to Rap Melendez. Thank you, Bucks. It's me, your father. Stop embarrassing him up. <laughs> uh, let's see. So I just want to, because I know people are going to be asking you questions, man. So, uh, you know, it's important that I get to some of these because I've been ignoring it for a while. No, you can, yeah, go through them now. I just don't like when I ask you a question, you just start reading a super chat. Mm -hmm. It's Look, disrespectful to me. Vince, yeah. I don't want to talk about Susanna. All right, but there's nothing we're talking about. She doesn't want me to talk her. about her. Oh. Oh, don't worry. Vince will respect that. Uh, wait, funeral director, respect Phil for that. We'll no longer troll him. One, four, three. Look at mm. that. All the guy wanted was a response. Yeah, dirty deeds, Dan the chief. Let's oh. hear it, <laughs> baby Trump. I don't know, 2024. <laughs> well, she don't care, but it's just, it's you know, it's... oh, wait, Aaron just texted me, said, Keep your name out his mouth during your podcast. <laughs> Go to Rap Lenders. Thanks for those. As your dad, Carl and Julia are funnier than you. Skull. Thank you. This is a new one. Avon, Navin R. Johnson. I love this one. He didn't trash you. Just said you're like a crazy ex. Who? Who? I don't know. Aaron? What? A couple owls over there. Slim Faley. I heard from my Hollywood source that you are head of the Illuminati. Is this true, Stuttering John? Have you ever been on one of Aaron Turner's boats that he's made? No. No, 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 no. I always wanted to get ahead, a smaller one. <laughs> oh, oh I like those. Oh, John, I was actually on the street when I was listening to those two jokes that you wrote for Mike Bichetti. Those are yeah. both funny. <laughs> I, know, I know they are. But can you, did you see what he did to me again? Fucking, he, he does Brennan, but he cancels on me three times. Uh -huh. well, he's probably in high demand. Three times. Uh... Apparently, he hasn't worked with Mike a lot. That's nothing for Bichetti to cancel yeah. three times. <laughs> I love Mike, but he's notorious for, for you know, something coming up. But to do that up. to John, forget it. He can't well, handle one. There's a lot of people you can do that to, but that drunken idiot is not one of them. Mm -hmm. uh, let's see. Yeah, but I'm the guy. You know, you heard what I did for the fucking guy. You yeah. Know, I, I mean, it's just ridiculous. The guy's a fucking asshole, but I'm not, I don't. You know, I'm done. I'm just out of the bullshit. Yeah, business. I don't know. He's always a sweetheart, but, you know, but he keeps fucking me. He <laughs> fucked me when he did the Artie thing. Mm -hmm. He wouldn't He wouldn't return my calls. He wouldn't return my texts. And then finally I had him on my show after Artie and him got into a big fight. And, you know, and that show was done. He's like, I go, Mike. Like the level of lying this guy does. Like I, I got a message from somebody while we're watching that whole uh, old clip about uh, having a meeting with Patreon and yeah. private investigator, those clips yeah. that first of all, the private investigator was his old mods. There was no private investigator. He just asked them to look for who it is. That's number one. Number two, he never had a meeting with Patreon. I know you guys are shocked. He never had a meeting with Patreon or YouTube, but the fact that he can just sit there and just continue to make this shit up without skipping a beat this is a sick sick dude he's got problems man this is this is like case study shit right here and we're talking about vince right either one <laughs> coin toss coin toss i realize halfway through i go i might be i don't know who i'm talking about but yeah why didn't you text me back and i I felt embarrassed. I felt embarrassed, John. I felt Is there any chance that you and I colluded to do this whole lawsuit thing? No. Zero. Zero. I sense no no detection of any type of lying there. No. Yeah. No, not at all. No. In fact, I told you, I, I had to cut our conversation. Do you think they really because... think anyone is stupid enough to believe this? Or, like, I don't get this. Yeah, I don't get it either. I, I don't think he's dumb enough to think that somebody believes it. But I, I also don't know that he has a finish line for this. You know what I mean? Like, I don't know. I don't think he knows where he's going with it. Yeah. I can't get into giving no. you advice on how to sue me better in New York. No, I didn't. No, I didn't. All I said was, now I really believe you that you're muttering, Jay, because you must have known that I couldn't file in the state of so now my question is, since John is 
like he didn't he have a thing today on Twitter that he put out a message saying Vince is muttering. So now John's saying Vince is muttering. Jay is John going to be sued like Carl? I mean, isn't it detrimental to Vince as an attorney uh, if John says it just as much as if Carl yeah, says it? Yeah, that's true. We're Actually, kidding. more so because if you read the tweet, just read the tweet. Well, uh, if Vince, as everybody knows, if what? If Vince, <laughs> as everybody knows, is muttering Jay, no. thanks to Lady K and Shitwayer, wow. then Vince got me fired from my job. This has cost me emotional hardship and hundreds of thousands of dollars. Nobody should ever use in Bessie law again because he betrays his clients. Well, that seems like uh, a little bit more detailed oh. than saying Vince is muttering Jay and Vince getting so upset about that. Interesting. Well, there's another rumor going around. I don't know if this is true, but people think they found uh dabbling john on twitter believes he has found his new attorney this charlie woman that oh, he wow. talked about yeah check this out oh, where'd it go? Here it is. she sounds big because of the fact she had to send them to smaller people yeah top search result for chat online with a real california attorney is that miss is that miss charlie the cute lawyer so <laughs> he's wow. saying he thinks that he reached out to this five dollars to talk to chat $5. with a lawyer <laughs> five it's an app or something that you could talk to a lawyer for five bucks through chat and they think that's who they think when he said she's hot her name is charlie it was this picture he was talking about <laughs> which would be fucking hilarious if that's true but shout out to dabbling john for uh putting that together california when you your business oh real quick i just want to uh, thank you 1500 plus in here watching us tonight please hit like hit subscribe uh, if you're not, a lot of you don't subscribe. I don't know why. It doesn't cost you anything. Just do it. And um, and then uh, turn on accept gifted memberships or get yourself a membership. We have a link in the in the description. Take you to your settings. Turn it on. You might be gifted one. People are still gifting. Or get one yourself. We got tons of content behind the wall. Two bonus shows every week. A lot of stuff. Come on. And surely, I, mm -hmm. since baseball season started, prize pick. That's right, ladies and gentlemen. Go to prizepicks.com slash Rico and you use code Rico for the first deposit match for up to $100. Find out why they are America's number one daily fantasy sports uh, app. Go check them out. Prizepicks.com slash Rico. Thank you. Pick more, pick less. Prize picks. And hit the like, as Jim from PCL says. Thank you, thank you. I'm guessing it's an LLC, you know? Or is it a... Is an S core? S core. Okay. Whichever it is, it's a business entity. And I can't sue unless I get a, an attorney or I file in New York. And you, yeah. you I must in New York. I, I, Bullshit. I, I, and you. on a general sense. Um, yeah. Send your mom to court to file it for you. I'm not giving mm -hmm. you legal advice. I disagree with that, but I don't know California law. But this Maybe lawyer's lying to me. I don't know. I didn't hear what this lawyer said, but I don't. I can't. I can't get into it at all. I cannot. All right. I can't even touch. Oh, that. oh. So you can't answer that question, but I have to answer all yours. Dick eighty nine. Thanks for the five bucks. That was an exaggeration. It wasn't quite trash. It. Mike just said screw them both when someone made a super chat falsely citing statements to you and already. I don't even. Yeah, thank you, Dick. But yeah, don't wind me up. If you know, I mean, there's no need to wind me John, up. John, so how? Don't wind me up, which means don't tell me anything because he'll believe anything oh, so yeah. just don't talk to him because anything will wind him up how about this you heard my video about how the dues payers excuse would lead to his employees following his lack of grit in terms of showing up for the shows and literally the next day bob bob had to leave early and then mike has missed the show mike left early because he had to go to dinner can you imagine <laughs> being in the middle of a howard stern show and telling howard you got to go to lunch uh, so hey vince says we're the howard stern show <laughs> hey thanks Vinny. thank you wow what a compliment vince, right, guess... vince you were 100 accurate i couldn't even believe how quickly <laughs> even though I was you accurate. got me fired 
Yeah, this is your guy who ruined you, cost you hundreds of thousands of dollars, took away your health insurance. Vince, you were right on the money, pal. Like, it, it yeah. happened so quick. All of them were there. And, and Zen, what about this grown adult saying that a neighbor's <laughs> complaining? Now, you have the same issue, but at least you go on with the sh- You have the same issue. That's funny. Uh... Imagine that. Joe, either you be quiet or find another location. It's not 10 o'clock. Well, they can't tell me I can. You know, the, you know, you can't, I don't yell that. Well, I, well, today I am, but I, normally I'm not that loud. Yeah, I mean, what planet is he on? Where normally he's not that loud when he does this show. Even after ten, what what is the worst that could happen? They're not gonna they could try and evict you, and seven years later you get evicted, and that's not even going to get you evicted. Yeah. Either way, John, Zen has an excuse. Oh, my neighbors doesn't like the loudness. So then find another place before you even start the show. If you care enough. And right, exactly, I, even I, lo- I love these fucking losers that are like, if you care, like, like caring about it is the only thing you need to make it happen. Got it. Mm-hmm. Doesn't cost That's money. why Vince's YouTube channel is so damn successful. Yeah, please. This guy, it, I could tell you stories. Believe me. What I told the dudes, Barry, he puts on that puss face now and he gets so mad at me for giving him this free advice, which is great advice. Vince, I never think about you for a second until you start spam chatting us here on the show. You're not a thought, Bubba. It's 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 a wrap. I've moved on. I, you're not worth it even to get up. What am I going to get upset about? A barnacle trying to fucking attach himself first to stern whack packers, now to uh, dabble versus whack packers? That's all you got, and you went to law school. I'm right where I should be for a high school dropout. You're a fucking attorney. Like, what am I going to get upset about? You're trying to climb up to me. Keep trying. You'll get there one day, maybe. Obviously. And I also saw that when you super chat him, as Jenny Lawyer, he immediately just, you know, he had to poo-poo it immediately. Like, Yeah, just, I mean, we used to be able to poo-poo. joke around and he... Oh, we used to be able to. Jo- we went on walks. We so went. John does watch this show every second of it. Wow. Every second of it. He's watching oh, right now, right now. And he's like, "We used to be able to joke around. Oh, look how hurt he is." And I'm the one that's upset. Listen to him crying like a bitch. It's weird, John. How some com- com- comedians don't get the joke. Don't, even, don't, <laughs> don't, don't even start. But yeah, I mean, oh, uh, I'm, a, I'm a comedian when he's got free beer, but I ain't a comedian when it comes to reviewing my shit, huh? I'm sorry. I actually yeah. think this is his end game, by the way. Which is what? Us talking about him. He's on Uncle Rico now because he can't get on un- Uncle Rico any other way. We're never bringing him on here as a guest or anything like that. So the only way that he can get on Uncle Rico is some kind of move like this. No, it, it, it's about look, you can't not put him on Uncle Rico when he's on John's show. It's about he doesn't even give a fuck about John. He he wants to promote himself as much as possible. So like the like I said, he's a barnacle. He attaches himself to high pitch, puts cameras in high pitch's house. Why? Because he wants to create a great product? No, because he wants Howard to go, man, we got to bring this guy Vince in here to do some bits. We got to Vince, 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 Vince. That's all he wants. So in a way, he is getting that. But people see through all this stupid shit. Like it, they see him as a hanger on. And, and as this, like, needy little, you know, thing running around pulling on John. Imagine if you were – imagine if you depended on anything in your life on this guy, on John. Imagine. And he can't stay away. He sat there on September – what was it, 6th? And he made 150 sock accounts? This is the same guy that's telling you he's never been on Twitter? He's, he's done it all. He lies about everything. He's just as big of a liar as this guy. Except he went professional at it. That's why he's a lawyer. John's still an amateur, you know. But he could be a lawyer. Oh, that's what he told him. That's what he used to tell his wife all the time when mm. he, when he would just scream at her. Uh, let's see. No, I don't like to interrupt you. I know you get mad when you. No, do. no, I just get mad if I ask you a question. You totally ignore it. All right, all right. Um, well, I like to annoy you. Um, you obviously like to annoy me by sounding me shit during <laughs> my show, but um. And now I'm going to forget what the fuck I want to say. Listen, uh, you're reading the Super Chat now. Star Mountain. All right. Star Mountain. No, that was something I really want to bring up. It was something with the shit Suzanne's where you... Suzanne's areola size? No, something with the shit where and you... 
about about you got something right today too. You said something about something about the shit where that it was spot on correct. Well, anyway. basically, what, exactly what I was saying that if if you're going to give excuses, expect your staff. And I said that now that you're no longer a lackey for Howard Stern, you're the leader, yes. whether you like it or not, he is. Yes. The people will follow you and. I'm actually doing him a great service because now he doesn't have to tell Zen Bob. It's adorable. And Mike Vince thinks you run the organization. <laughs> you guys got to be here when the show's on. Put all your other bullshit excuses aside. No, I know, and but and then Bob left for a chiropractor. Or a <laughs> but I said, I mean, come on. If anyone needs a chiropractor to carry no, I, that no, entire no, no, no. show, it's Bob. I, I don't fault Bob for that. I can tell you exactly. Well, <laughs> That's why I, I went to the chiropractor. He goes, what's the matter with your back? I've been carrying these shows for fucking months now. <laughs> I can't take it. Carrying the show for all these years. <laughs> I mean, do you disagree with that? No. So, Ooh. oh, did you hear hard. this? There's this audio out of Carl saying that Bob's not a good comedian and that Bob I wanted to it. get on the show and he wasn't it. he wasn't good enough to get on the show. Now, in fairness to Carl, show? that was sort of like... What show is this? I don't know. Uh, maybe like a year or two ago. I, I haven't heard maybe anything. Even longer when he said it, but I mean... He if, if Vince is the one breaking it, then you got to take it with a grain of salt because he likes well, you to... You know doctor. what the great thing is? I always love fucking going on other shows <laughs> that's one thing i don't like i you know what i mean it's like well my own when i'm done i'm done i do this i do yeah, believe my me. shit we know <laughs> we know no, really it's like it's like funny <laughs> it's like no i've never said hey get me on that no it's never happened it's no. never happened i've never asked to... he was adamant i could we had, we had to force him to come on this show cut out a lot of the stuff that he was saying negatively towards bob which I disagree with. I know you sort of agree with Carl on that point, yeah. but I think Bob's good enough to be on Carl's show. <laughs> Who even know Carl had a show though? <laughs> so, seriously, I mean, like at that point, look, I had no idea. Look, look, if Shitway is allowed to be on, then Bob certainly. <laughs> yeah, I guess. That simple. Yeah, this guy can't drive to the bar where he drinks every single night. He had to get an Uber. He had to get an Uber because he's got his license suspended. That's the Salvation Army, bub. Oh, you moved on. You're in front of chalkboards again, huh? Uh, and I also want to say, did you did you hear Shitwayer say that when they were at Sirius, Howard Stern had 40, 60 million fucking oh, listeners. He's such a drunken idiot. When he was not on too. Terrestrial, idiot, not Sirius. Yeah. Terrestrial. They did not, Vince. I know. Tim such a drunken moron. He can't retain any information at all. Did you, did you, uh, 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 this is why it's so easy to prank him. He's a moron in every way. Mm. Did you hear this? No facts, never. Nothing. Fabian. It's all it's all like you know, paraphrasing and like fucking just making shit up that he he doesn't even remember it correctly, so he just makes it up. He told me the exact numbers. Howard Stern went. From 2005, 16 million on terrestrial to under a million. He said 800,000 when they went to Sirius. Right. And, sh and Shitway was trying to sell this shitty bill of goods saying that if you were a stand-up when he was at Stern and you sat in the Jackie Show, you had one appearance, it would make your career better than an appearance on Jimmy Fallon or anything else. Totally 100%. 100%. Totally what are you would. talking about, you fucking retard? That that, that he was uh, he was just like Carson in that way. Nobody was fucking with Whitney Cummings until she went on Howard. Nobody was fucking with Schumer the way they did till she went on Howard. Fact. Fact. Please some fucking delusional. Well, I, I think he does have a point there because the Howard Stern fans were, were more were more into it. Like I only knew Bob Levy and any of the other guys. Like again, Stern that's guys. when that's in the terrestrial. I oh, saying Bob wasn't on like the serious part. I was no, he was on the serious part. I'm saying that you only knew him because I got them all into the show when. Wait, you know, whoa, when whoa, 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 yeah, whoa! Is he saying that he got me on Stern? Say thank you at least, Bob. Thank you, John. I had no idea because uh, it was definitely Casey. I was absolutely a thousand percent Casey. Yeah. Nobody else. 
Yeah, Nikki Glaser wasn't mainstream until she went on Howard. I mean, come on. And they'll be the first ones to tell you what it did for them. Mm-hmm. Fallon. Fallon ain't doing shit for nobody. Late night no. TV uh, stand-up is, is dead. It was a fact, and everybody up there said it that was on there. You know, Everyone. You, out, you know, your money went up. You, you know, you didn't. You didn't even have to do comedy clubs because it was it was more like a set. I, I can do one show one night, one show a, another night, and make more than I would uh, close in the Dallas Empire. I was something, anything right. like that. It's just the well, way. It's a smart booking. And also look at the roast, for example. Look at the comedians that you had, mm-hmm. so, you know, signing up to do that roast. Nobody got paid for it. it wasn't a paid gig. It was out of respect to to Howard and mm-hmm. what he did for those people's careers. Not to mention, you know, how great he was. At Except it. for Patrice, he told me to tell Howard to go fuck himself, no, <laughs> which was so no respectful. Patrice, was, hey, listen, he, he had every right, I guess. Yeah. Hey, listen, Patrice marched to his own drum. You got to respect yeah. that. Nothing wrong with that. But you got Greg Giraldo, Colin Quinn, Lampanelli, yeah. Apollo. Fucking, I mean. Yeah. It was fun. A tell. Like, come on. Oh, yeah. On my tour. Yeah. I mean, that's when we had, that's when when we maxed that. I would say we maxed 20, 30 million. It was never 60 million. How much were you making at the peak of the John and Friends tour, Stuttering John and Friends tour? Fucking bank. No, like how much for a weekend? The most was uh, the Tempe Improv, 17,500. Gross. And then you had to pay everyone out. Yeah, so probably walked away like that. You were 10 and then paid 7500 to everyone else? <laughs> you know what the funny thing? The first gig I got, Artie, I believe with the added shows, he made 25000 the first weekend that I got him. Artie made twenty five grand. Not yes. you made twenty five and then gave Artie his cut. Artie no. made twenty five thousand dollars. I think I believe I took uh, my regular pay there, which was twenty five hundred or three thousand, right, uh, to open for him. Right, which I'm sure Artie threw threw you extra anyways after he that. Put, and, you know, he's yeah. a fucking he's, he's he's just a good guy. He is. I gave the uh, the closer like it was Apollo or whoever. Or- Greg Giraldo, I give them twenty five hundred. Then, like it was a Florentine, I give them a thousand. It's only two nights, it's not you know. It's not yeah, a- no, that, that's more money than those guys are making. I'm it's sure. Not, oh it's yeah, not. It's well, no, he knows. It's not. What are you talking no, about because he's I, w- I was probably giving Jim fucking whatever. Just he, and he wasn't even close. I was closing the shows. You know, I know this for a fact. It's it's not even close. Yeah, Jim and, was not making five hundred a night on the road by himself. Believe me, he was doing better than 500 a show, yeah. I think, you know. Oh, absolutely. Right. Yeah, else they would never come back, but they did every time I asked them. So where was Bob in terms of the rotation when you were? I did not. I, he, I, and now I'm going to be honest, Vince. I'm always honest, but I'm going to just about. Except his, when you're I'm, lying. Yeah. No. I'm sure about his comedy. Guy. I hated when, because Florentine. You know, would say because if he couldn't do a gig, if it, you know, he had a VH1 doing, you know, the thing or whatever, he he would say, you know, you know, this guy Bob is pretty good. It's pretty. And good. I had Bob. I'm, I'm sure he never said I was pretty good. Because that's not something that anybody says that knows me. Somebody told me this guy Bob's uh, needs a little work, but he's got some shot at making something of himself in yeah. this business. So I said, I'll take Bob under my wing. <laughs> Closed the show one night, and and it was all crowd work. And I'm like, oh no, no it's not. No, all no, 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 no. This is not. You know, just as not only a stand up but a fan of comedy. The guy, the guy played a videotape for 15 minutes, and he's sitting here telling you what's good for comedy. He had he had it's 10 amazing. minutes of material, shit material, and then and then he's watching Bob destroy, and he's going, no, this this isn't good. No. You're right. It's fucking awesome. That's what it is. <laughs> it's awesome every time, motherfucker. <laughs> I, I've seen him more than anyone, and I say I stand there and I watch this motherfucker do it every time. It's fantastic. You do, and they all know it. They all yeah, know it. Do not want that to be your closer. I'm sorry. You want a legitimate Nick DiPaolo. You know, you want a, a legitimate 
Modi or, you know, like <laughs> uh, Otto and George or Jim Norton. Um, you, know, you want a legitimate closer, not Bob Lee. Yeah, I wonder who comes up with these <laughs> no. uh, arbitrary Why did up. you want me to do it so bad? You know what I mean? Ah, ah, why? Interesting. Comedy. It's not arbitrary. It's well, very... Where is it set forth anywhere that that's what it's got to be? Because you want a guy who has an act. Nah, I mean, I don't it know. is an act. Well, what if it, you had the it, dude? The dues payer has an act. Bob no. has an act, sort of. I mean, but Bob can manipulate the sort situation of. in real time. Yeah. All right. I'm going to say that's it once. what audiences love. Say it again. Bob is not a headliner, he is not a closer. He, at best, is a host. Maybe so, a middler, but he does too much cry work. So I faked this to... business for 30 yeah. years. You may, one day you'll be Midler, Bob, according to John. One day. One day I'll live in a 500-foot apartment. <laughs> really? Yeah, I disagree. I mean, again, yeah, but you, I, you I could know. be mistaken, John, because the only people I see before are the Dews Bear, Mike Morris, and Well, then, Zen. yeah, yeah, he's a breath of fresh air. <laughs> uh, let's see. And that guy put an arm around you, and he's like, no, man, the material's great. The material's great. Yeah, thanks, thanks, man. Yeah, really funny. Yeah, you know how to put on a show. You're doing great. Uh, I mean, it's just a lawyer in every sense. A lawyer. Mm -hmm. For sure. Which really, you know, I beat, I beat Brennan twice this week, which is fucking hysterical. I know, the dude's is like, oh, Vince is saying how much we're making. I guess, like, Muttering Jay puts out, or, or somebody puts out the numbers as to how much you guys are making each show or yeah. something. Yeah, John's a neglected cat. <laughs> That's why when fucking... That's another example, Vince. You know, when that fucking Kiki... Or, what was the name again? What? Uh, what? Kitty? Kitty, yeah. yeah. It was like, you know... Uh, yeah, John... Uh, you don't know, he didn't realize what was going to happen. They goof on my dead cat! <laughs> oh, I thought they were saying uh, <laughs> Xavier is... Uh, no, Magneto died! Yeah, but those other two cats don't look neglected at all. Are you kidding me? They're fat fucks. I know. <laughs> Just They're like eating Daddy. right now. They're watching me. They always say animals look like the owners sometimes, like dogs. <laughs> well, that's a shot at me, but you're probably right. Oh, way to figure that one out. Good <laughs> job. That's right. Uh, let's see. That's well, I, I had a whole bit on the um, on the Jay Leno show of uh, how, how pets start looking like they're... Uh, Owners and I did. Oh, it's just, it was hysterical. I, I should have been there. You know, I, I did. Like, I got the funniest pictures of different celebrities and their animals. Like you know, it was, and it was a great bit. Um, whole segment by the way, shit way. <laughs> Goes for Apple London. Same two bucks. My open hand has an appointment with your face. Go. <laughs> if oh. you were to estimate how many times Ralph hit you, how many three days times. he hit you? How many? I only had three times. Oh, what? that's not. Three times, and he's you know, talking about this guy who used to beat him all. It, it, it just three times. This guy, this guy who talked about like he was going to move into a, a battered wives shelter. This fucking guy, like like he got it every day for for looking at him wrong. Three times, three times, three fucking times. My dad's hit me more than three times. <laughs> Surely, dad hit me more than three times. Yeah, twice I told him I was marrying a Palestinian girl, and the other time was just for shits and giggles. Hello. That bad? I probably got hit more than you. One time when I was like, think maybe like I, I don't even know if he hit me this time, but three times you so got it's, hit. It might be two. What a, yeah, what a pussy. Well, when I say three times, it's not three. In other words, three what? sessions. Yeah, three sessions. Yeah. What is it? A <laughs> massage? What? What is he doing? As soon as I came, <laughs> yeah. I went to my room. <laughs> He'd beat me till I shot a load and then I'd go to bed. <laughs> this is going to squirt you more than it's going to squirt me. <laughs> oh, that's great. Okay, okay, okay. I'm starting to enjoy it. Come on, come on. Joey. Calm down, Joey. Jesus Christ. Oh, so when he would slap, he would never... Um, you know, close you. Yeah, it was but the slapping could go on. At least it felt like at least one or two minutes. Boom, 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 boom. Just kept going. Where though? Where was he hitting <laughs> Look on at your his body? hair. Look at his hair after he did the slapping thing. <laughs> it's super greasy. Like Mike said, look at it. Face. 
face. Oh, yeah. Head. You know what's weird? My mom would say not in the face. If you ever heard those words in order, you better be prepared. <laughs> he never, my dad never hit me in the face. <laughs> no, he would fuck. He would slap the shit in my sister's too. And my Sounds brother like got a great guy. Once, he told me. Yeah. What? Roy? Roy. But he knew. His dad, uh... He always thinks he's, like, smarter than all of us because he knew, like, when my father's eyebrow would go up. He knew to just don't talk anymore. Now, the <laughs> girls, my sister Susan and Joyce, they never got it. I mean, well, one of them's a midget, so, I mean, if you're going to beat up a midget, you're a real piece of shit. <laughs> what, are you going to move the plant to hit her? Yeah, <laughs> yeah, I mean, first of all, they crawl under the fridge. You can't get them, number one. <laughs> Joyce pulled the knife on my father. Yeah, I know. <laughs> Joyce pulled the knife on my father. Listen did to this he, fucking did he family. take the pork? Yeah, really. <laughs> Joyce, protect the pork at all costs. <laughs> <laughs> now we heard that that story. But but me, I got it once for using one of his two by fours. I uh, let's see. <laughs> Where's my two by? What did you? Yeah. What did your dad hacks on Jim Duggan? <laughs> <laughs> hey, He's dinner got... ready. Oh, oh. <laughs> uh. gotta go to the Nassau Coliseum. Oh, <laughs> just fucking thumbs up. That lazy eye. Vince the lipless. Oh, you know what I mean? The other day I had, like, there was a filter on your get him, mom. or whatever this bullshit program is, and I get to look like I had no lips. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for the two bucks. Yeah, that's hilarious. Vince, why would you get me far? I mean, come on, man. <laughs> no, I mean, you like me. I don't I don't know why you it would do that. Goof. Vince? It was a different time. I said before, in a hypothetical situation, if a attorney breaches his attorney-client privilege obligation, it's not so much what happens to you. It's that the actual breach is the real issue. Mm -hmm. you know, whether you got fired because someone, uh, what you did or what someone posted online, that's, that's a secondary issue. When you hire an attorney, they better keep their fucking mouth shut about anything that is protected information. And that's within any contract you have with an attorney. So... Are you mad at Lady K and Chitwayer for? I mean, listen how he's talking to a guy who supposedly ruined his life and took yeah. away his teaching and his insurance. Listen how he, he's doing a fucking like Barbara Walters over here. Now, what are your feelings on Carl today, currently? Man, it's douches. amazing. Why was Huntington Beach chosen for your venue? I live close, but I'm not dealing with those OC MAGA crazy. Just come out no, to a fuck, fuck politics with There's this no shit. There's no politics there. What the fuck? Just come out and enjoy. If you watch this and you like it, then come out of the fucking show. Maga schmaga. Don't be a mm. don't be a maggot. Get over there. What was your favorite, least favorite Stern show roast? <laughs> it was definitely uh... well. I th yeah, I think the Carver roast was definitely in agreement. The least favorite out of all of us. Yeah. Um, Nobody would listen. Yeah, the Artie roast was probably the most fun. Gary I love that was one. fun. Gary was fun too. Ralph yeah. was fun. Ronnie was Ronnie fun. fun. But the Artie one was at night, and we all got loose. We all got lit, and it was that was fun. And and Richard and Sal flushing each other's heads down the toilets. It was wild. Making me puke. Yeah, running around with Richard running around with a booger on his finger. Bob throwing up. Uh, curious, ever thought of starting a Shuley brand of glasses or Bob Levy line of copper lined leather jackets? Just a thought. Love you, Bob. Yeah, no, you're right about that. I, I think a jacket full of copper would work. <laughs> I'm going to think about it. I'm going to talk to my people. When you say it, it doesn't sound like a great idea, you know? I know. I'm thinking it might be a problem at airports, but... If it sounds like it's a bad idea, it's a good idea. So. <laughs> but if it makes people feel better, then why mm -hmm. not? Look, it's Fuel Director, a four-foot-one midget. All right, Mr. Charlie Loves, thank you. Uh, ham hands, press this ash button. <laughs> Complete R words. I mean, have you heard of a dumber thing? Ash button. If my daughter doesn't have a soccer tourney that weekend, me, uh, Apollo, and I guess my wife will be in Huntington Beach. Bob, mm. bring Perry. Time for Apollo versus Perry. Apar, hope we see you there, buddy. 
He would be tough to bring on a plane. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> he doesn't like people. Yeah, he's not a people person yet. <laughs> uh chris hall five months thank you pal mm -hmm. much love to you and bob thank you frog and don for your work in the back and my chat friends thank you y'all have been amazing so have you chris thank you my friend and thank you for gifting five come on metallica uh i miss watching you guys when you're not on board all oh. day i'm sorry good to see you christina i thought he had like a 12 inch dick <laughs> what are you bored of? <laughs> Just check it in. Love you guys. TSN. TSN. Slim. We're all about you, buddy. Love you right back. Uh, Kumia Levy, 2024. Send Kumi the link. Get him in here. Huh? <laughs> I haven't you know? seen him in a while. <laughs> well, all right. Uh, if you weren't at that show, you could have been on with him. <laughs> if I would have made up an excuse, I could have been on. Yeah, make shit up. Cold gold makes you old way before your time. Magellan with a Jackie classic. Slim, buried in snow here in Tahoe. Wow. It's beautiful. Enjoy. I mean, it's kind of a, but I mean, you know, what else can you do? Just relax and enjoy. Bob, Bob hate Vince or stuttering John Moore? Seemed okay with Vince at the show. Uh, I don't hate really anybody. I, I really don't. You know, I don't have a problem with Vince. Uh, you know, I even asked, I go, did you dox fans? And he said, no. And I said, I hope not, because that would be fucked up. You know, you know, if Vince said something, you can trust. Well, it, I mean, you, I have to say what I feel, you know, right. Uh, would be a shame if Vince the lawyer's clients find out about MJ. Well, John's letting them know he's he's tweeting it out. He's saying it on a show. Torito is back. I was way too deep undercover. Knight and Anthony forever. I Look know. He was undercover for a while. Good job. F Hackamania, you are number one Dabbleverse show. Thank you, I see you know. We're not in a competition with anybody. Mm -hmm. We're just looking to do this and have fun. Please come fun. to Greenville, South Carolina. Bob and Oasis are both awesome. I've been to Greenville. Bob, you you used to live there, didn't yeah, you, for a sure. while? And, and uh, you know, definitely did we go. We even looking for houses there today, too. And, and, uh, and the boss know, but, is out there. Yeah, but I'm saying, like... Uh, you know, a year or two. We'll see. You know, I, I like, I like uh, South Carolina, Greenville area, because it's like you can go out and people are in a good mood. It's like, it's like, yeah, it's like 1965 there. Everybody's just happy. It's a good explanation. He's right. Mm -hmm. uh, so Zen was too loud. How many people at his apartment? Uh, uh, they live upstairs. It's ridiculous. It, 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 it's like you shouldn't have a grown man shouldn't tell another grown man how they can live and when you're living in the same place. He's I not agree the with owner you, but it happens. Place. But it happens. But then you say, fuck you. And that then is, let them that is deal an with approach. That. Yeah, that is definitely an approach. That yeah, can't I mean, be. I got a shed. He can live in the shed if he needs. Well, we'll tell him that. Then then we'll, I was we'll do a live show. We'll do a live know. show where he walks on, on stream and tell mm -hmm. him to go fuck himself. Four ninety nine, a wall. I've seen the neighbor. I've seen him. He's a trip. Mm. Uh, Vince the lawyer's eyes. He's got lifeless eyes, black eyes like a doll's eye. When he comes at you, he doesn't seem to be living until he bites you, and then the black eyes roll over white. Mm. The great Quint from Jaws. Thank you. Uh, is it true Vince the lawyer scammed YouTubers out of big money? I don't know. No. I've heard things, but I don't know. Who knows what's real in this fucking world? Yeah. Uh, you say Vince made high pitch Eric bits for Howard's attention. That may be true, but if you did the same, it is really is it really fair to make that implication directly? If I did the same, wire high pitch Eric's apartment with cameras and record them and and do that all day long and night, send pizzas to his house. I didn't do any of those things. Uh, you know, the bits I did with him were bits that he agreed to do that he knew he was doing. Yeah, he just weighed his shit, okay? That's all I did. That's the only, for, you know, it never went past that. <laughs> we, it never got weird. I just weighed his shit. That's it. <laughs> Twice. Nikki, <laughs> give her something. Rock, rock, that's oh. wet -ass pussy. Thank you, Nikki. We love you. Good night, Bob. And Have a good night. Other Nikki, all the, all, the, all the beautiful Nikki's are up in the Mm -hmm. uh stuttering john show was aggressively boring last night well 
that's what happens when you have the aggressive investor on. Yeah, and let's talk about more stuff that I talk about on my show. Because, you know, so many people watch my show, clearly they'll want to hear this again. John should borrow the trick from Vince and wear a hat. That half night comb over ain't working. Mm. Find out when that account was put immediately. Vince the lawyer looks like he's in a doctor's office. Uh, I saw Bob open for Artie in Orlando. Excellent. Is your mic going in and out? <laughs> yeah, it sounds terrible. Yeah. Oh, feel free to fucking say something, bro. Uh, well, I just did. Yeah, after he says it, like it, interrupt me and go, "Hey, man, your mic's." It actually in sounds and out. much better when you yell at me. Yeah. Asshole. So, if not for stuttering John, Levy, DePaulo, Florentine, and Artie wouldn't have careers. Ah, what an infuriating fuckface. Thank you, Jeff. Uh, Hale Midler. <laughs> Thank you, Eugene. Hope everyone is doing well. Hunter Johnson. Thank you, Hunter. Member for one month. Welcome. John Sons of Trinity. Pets look like their owners. Staring John Cat looks like a pussy. <laughs> Hello. Uh, thanks for not putting me on timeout like my son did. Did he really, Ralph uh, Melendez? Uh, Reverend Bob, are you from Staten Island? Favorite Staten Island pizza. By the way, Stuttering John is a dong head. Thank you, Tom. Well, I was just there today, but uh, there was pizzas that Val, Val's pizza years ago. Uh, I haven't had pizza there in a long time. So who knows what's there now, uh, right? Mm -hmm. uh, Michael P., Ralph is going to take down terrorism. Tough guy. Who? All right. Ra Ralph. Okay. Uh, when Stuttering John took off Vince the Lawyer's hat, it looked like Darth Vader when his helmet was removed at the end of Return of the Jedi. TSN for life. You guys have officially replaced my old Stern addiction. Thank you very much. Thank you. The retaliators, ladies and gentlemen. Yes. Ten dimes. Appreciate it. Uh, he really thinks, this is Yanks, one of my favorites. He really thinks anyone values his opinion on stand-up. Went from being on two of the biggest shows ever to now handing out... Mm. Uh, a sign-in sheet to kids. Bob's phlegm is funnier than Stuttering John will ever be. Thank you. Yeah, we have the audio to prove it. Uh, Stuttering John, the entrusted spokesperson, spokesperson of the comedy world. You heard it here first, folks. All right, let's keep back to this. Keep on saying this nonsense and really like going, I know it's a fact. That Vince is muttering Jay. I'm not mad. It's not personal to me. And what happens is not going to be personal. It's just business. Uh, let's see. <laughs> Tough guy. That's what got. Uh, nah, I, I knew I'd fuck it up. Uh, uh, yep. Abe Vigoda killed on, on The Godfather. On The Godfather. Like it's a TV show. You watched The Godfather last week? It's not personal. It's not personal. It's just business. Oh, it Help is. me, Tom, will you? I mean, John, what else can I like? If I, I don't want to sue anyone in the dabble verse. What else can I do? I, I give him the opportunity. He retracted, and he went back and it started again. Then I offered him to pay him money. Forget about suing him. I offered money for. <laughs> I offered him money. I mean, forget about it. Yeah, I don't like, want to send me the money. I don't want to sue anybody. For it. And he was still persisting. I don't know what He's else to do. He's laughing at you. I don't care about the laugh. Like, I don't know what else to do. Uh, and he's forcing me to do something. The only thing he cares about is that hat coming off his head. That's it. You know, I'm not going to sit here and broadcast what, what's going to happen, but I, I've given many opportunities. I've seen Eric threaten to kill his kids, his wife. I've seen people online threaten the same. Guy doesn't blink. Guy doesn't flinch. Take that hat off his head. Oh, boy. I saw a different side of Vince there. He would not have. The Dabbleverse was not a nice place at that point. Well, Vince, you do realize this is tarnishing your. But, John, but also, <laughs> I also realize yeah. that you are. Yeah, this. Be, being uh, called MJ is what's tarnishing his, his uh, image. Statement right there is very self-centered. And it's self something that you want me to do. 
I get that. Great too. call. <laughs> no, I don't give a fuck what you do. Yeah, you would love it. <laughs> you don't lie to me. <laughs> I don't give a shit. Yeah, right. If I sued Carl, you wouldn't be happy? No. Yeah, my... <laughs> May you I drop dead. Dude! <laughs> 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 But that's not <laughs> that's, that's not the reason. A it's a <laughs> I mean, tell me anyone's frightened of a guy who's got a drink and has to turn. He's got to almost lay down to take a sip. <laughs> Unbelievable. Uh, I, hey, know, Shuli. Man, I know uh, yeah. Vince may not be scary, but you know what is? What How is? much money you can save by switching to Mint Mobile. Oh, yeah. Wow, Frog, you stink, but you are right. MintMobile.com slash Shuli. That's right. MintMobile.com slash Shuli. Why you got to go to MintMobile.com? I'll tell you why. Wireless service for 15 bucks a month. Did you hear what I just told you? Wow. 15 bucks a month. Get over there. MintMobile.com slash Shuli. Come on. There's 1,600 plus in here. Hook yourselves up. Give yourself the gift of $15 for premium service. I'm out. That's less than a fly baby a month. <laughs> it really is. That's fucking crazy. Come on, man. Think of how many fly babies you'll make happy. Yeah. That job's lying. No, I believe you. I believe that you're muttering Jay. But I, I'm telling you that in a hypothetical situation, not you specifically. Because even, even muttering Jay's tweets now are very <laughs> indicative of you. Yeah, but I would say like not you, but someone in your similar situation. It's not what he's saying. It's did he breach any agreement he had with you? Let's say assume Muttering Jay was an attorney. Then he went and contacted your employer. That would be a clear, clear breach of the attorney-client privilege. Yes, but if but hold on, his theory is if Muttering Jay is an attorney, but it doesn't say him. So he's just assuming that Muttering Jay is now an attorney that represented John at some point and is now trolling John, but it's not him. Mm. Did I did I understand that correctly? I think so. Okay. Because I'm stupid, and that was stupid. So I just want to make sure w both of us are on the same wavelength. Yes. It's not whether you got fired or not because of it. It's because he actually did it. Even, well, first of all, it was twice. So even the attempt. <laughs> Let me use finger. a real finger. He went to the other one. <laughs> he, he, <laughs> goes, he goes, ah, my, I'm never going to prove my point with that dead finger. <laughs> Put that back a little yeah. bit. He even looked at it and go, nah, <laughs> wrong ah, hand. He got let me down again, finger. God damn it. Even, well, first of all, it was twice. So even the attempt <laughs> is a He looked at it and was like, ah, okay, this ain't going to work. Oh, he looked at this and goes, damn you. <laughs> and then just kept going with the other one. Yeah, I heard Carl say, well, Vince said he's not on Twitter. When I say I'm not on Twitter, it doesn't mean I can't go to Twitter and have everything archived. I had to get 20,000 fucking email, uh, texts, whatever it is, oh. tweets archived. 20,000. And it's not, it's not a huge <laughs> number, but it's annoying to do. I just have to put, I've never enjoyed all that. I've never enjoyed a story of a father beating <laughs> his children before tonight. Dabble Davidian. I love that picture. That's yeah. sick. Six months. Thank you, pal. We get a few more in here. There's people been waiting. I'm sorry, guys. Tim D, two bucks. Thank you, Timmy. Uh, Kyle, how'd you make the decision to move to Bama? Uh, we snuck over here during the pandemic uh, to check it out because because we started. I have a couple friends out here that were telling me. This is a good area to invest in. And uh, and then we just uh, looked online and saw some places and and what we could get. And uh, we just came out here and checked it out. Loved it. Made the decision. Uh, I said it in my last Super Chat. This whole thing was an unfunny bit orchestrated by those two unfunny losers. Very grateful for the laughs today, FSJ. Thank you, Luigi. One of the best out there. Uh, uh, unbelievable, it. and I, I'm I'm proud to say uh, Luigi is uh, working with us. A few other people are working with us on a special project we're going to bring to you guys soon. It's going to blow your mind. Uh, these guys are brilliant. Mm -hmm. Bob tells Bob tells a serious combo he had with Vince and Philip. Philip. Says Vin and Vin who? Phillips. Phil. Okay. Says you can definitely believe what he says. What's wrong with Bob explaining? Bob isn't dumb. What, what? does that mean? I just oh okay. 
So Bob said that mm. Vince said he didn't dox fans. And then yeah. Phil says, can you really believe what Vince says? And he says, what's wrong with Bob explaining? Nothing's wrong with Bob explaining, but uh, uh, Frog's entitled to throw his opinion in too. I get I mean, it. I, I, You're pro I would like Vince. to believe people. That's what I've always been like that. Sure. Sure. Me too. It's how you get yeah. fucked. But it's also how you find good people too, mm-hmm. by giving them a chance. You got to you gotta kind of go that way. Come on up to Rhode Island, gents. FSJ, FVTL. Anthony, I didn't know you were in that neck of the woods. Now we got to go. I haven't seen this much bad acting by a duo since Anson Williams and Donnie Most did a road tour of waiting for a Godot. I love that, Chad. Thank you, Professor. Nerdy shirt, gifted one. Let's go. It was a barbecue restaurant. Uh, Bob, KB took advantage of you. Don't let VTL do the same. Fan of the show. Thanks for the content, fellas. Thank you, Lobster. I always win in the end. Believe me. Uh, Dad got me into Stern in the 90s. Too embarrassed to attempt a dabble verse explanation. Also, love ONA covering Orson Welles drunk. Somber skull. Thank you, Tim D. Appreciate it. Uh, I've been watching since the early days of Uncle Rico, and now I'm official member for four months. Mm. Really sick shows lately. Thanks, boys. Thank you, Thank seven you. seconds. Thanks for membering up, buddy. Yeah. Stuttering John is to comedy what Ha Ha History is to the Amazon bestseller <laughs> list. All right, let's go. I didn't do oh. it, but it's annoying. Four and eight. Uh, BMC, thanks to the fiber. You're pissed at symptom like Mike Pochetti, but Vince goes out your way to embarrass and humiliate regularly and you're still friends with them. I don't th- I don't ever see Vince ever you I think Vince is a fan of mine actually in fact what do you mean I told him a super I know more about you than most people uh let's see oh, John? no but even on your Sony like you played some clip I forget which it was and you go oh it was when you like sent something and you know and you go yeah you know hey you got to just give it to John. He's fucking entertaining. No matter. Yeah, well, oh, I mean, even listening to his refrigerator, <laughs> fucking entertaining. Yeah, dude, I love it. No, it was you eating that bag of whatever the fuck you're eating, but the sound that it was making was so no, entertaining. No, it was me talking about my um, uh, tri-tip, and you go, I even like watching John at his fridge listening to his groceries. Yeah, no, yeah, there's a lot. Imagine the work that's guy. He's got to sit there and go. You the way you were eating potato chips last night was so funny. I mean, I, I if somebody sent me, I'd be like, "Who the fuck is this psycho? What's funny about eating potato chips?" <laughs> that's entertaining. Uh, so if, even fucking Brennan, <laughs> who hates me every other day, was like. Sorry. Just, just make me a loop of him fucking just putting that glass up to his <laughs> dumb face. I just want to have that ready to go at times. John is entertaining, and there's no way you can deny that. I, and I know I am. Yeah. Because I've always been that way since I was five years old. Somebody texted me and said that Brennan was asking me to come on a show, but I don't. Yeah, nobody texted him. I don't even know like what his show is about. I, I don't want to do it because I just don't know him. And I, I don't. He'll end up on there. I would never tell you to do it or not. I, you I, know. I, it's not, it's nothing personal against him. I just don't watch it, so not interested. He watches it. No, I don't blame you. I mean, he's just gonna try and. Well, I don't know about you, but most of his guests, he's just bullies. He has to feel superior. <laughs> John would never do that. <laughs> puts puts you, takes you off, blocks you, puts you in time out. He would never do that. It's very. But weird. you have that too. A lot of your guests, you lead. You lead with your questioning. You want someone that's to say yes to you. I don't bully my guests. Not that you're Uh-oh. bullying them, but you Uh-oh. do lead them. And generally, the guests that you have have to say do yes. Do I ever tell my guests not to do another show? No, that's a whole other thing. Uh, yes. Yes, you have. Yeah. You told DG. If DG's in the chat, speak up. Speak up. You have a voice. You're a grown-ass man. You tell everybody here right now. That this bitch <laughs> fucking crying all the time. What show you can't go on? I don't know why people do that. And what I I bully Army Major and Brian Cam never. Uh, sort of in a sense. When you're talking politics, I mean that's a whole different situation. No, we don't. 
you know, I mean, I love those two guys. I mean, they're my friends. Well, really. the reason why you would be a good attorney is because you ask leading questions and you get what you make your statement and then you ask for someone to affirm it. And like that doesn't necessarily make the best of this, but you do that and you're great at that. I I missed my calling. Them. <laughs> <laughs> He's so easy. He's the fucking big, the biggest Mark since Mark from Canada. I mean, unbelievable. See, he Peter got him mad about, yeah, you know, saying he bullied people. Now, now he had to throw in the compliment to take <laughs> him back. Yeah, yo yo, this fucking guy's a yo yo man. He's doing tricks with him. So great. I'm sitting here talking to you. <laughs> Could you imagine me in the courtroom, Vince? I would be relentless. Yeah, but you have the good personality. <laughs> Can you imagine me in a courtroom, Vince? I'd be drunk. Can you imagine that? Because <laughs> you can detach and you're not afraid to even like... Oh, not at all. When I say embarrass yourself, meaning like you're not afraid to be aggressive. And not that's a good quality. Hey, wait. He goes, you're not afraid. When I say you're not afraid to embarrass yourself, mm -hmm. I mean be aggressive. No, attorney. no, and if I even see a bit of weakness... Mm -hmm. You know, when you're looking in the mirror from the other, you know, from the prosecutor or whoever it is, or my uh, family, the plaintiff, defendant, <laughs> whichever, a bit of weekends, I'll pick, <laughs> pick at it. If you had to say the best quality, and this is a serious question, of Shuli in his professional, not being serious, like, because if you want to be a realtor, you have to see now you understand, Joe. This is why. Every show he does is about me and the channel. And anytime he goes out in front of John, it's about because he thinks uh, it's going to upset me. And I'm going to be like, look at this motherfucker. Like, he, he's trying so hard. He's texting me during the show. I haven't talked to this guy in almost two months. He, no, I get it. He's desperate to be attached desperate. to anyone to do with this CERN show. I get that. Desperate analyze your enemy and you got to know their best and worst what is his best quality a real best quality how old is Vince? Do you know how old he is what's that do i know how old he is i don't know too old to be doing this shit same with me <laughs> <laughs> no but let's be see I'm, I'm thinking i'm gonna try and think of something too i don't know Vince. i don't okay. no seriously People in chat have some suggestions. This guy says he's white. That's the best thing about me. Thank you. <laughs> like, I don't think any, like, shit yes. and Lady Kate, to me, have no, no redeem. Yes. You remember the, the, the Pantera videos from, like, the on the road, you know? And you'd always see Motley Crue, all the groupies waiting backstage. That's him. That's him. Big hair, bandanas tied around his jeans, all that shit. Hell yeah. Redeemable qualities of any. I don't know. I just don't see it. Brennan, I do. Well, He's we know fun. that. You're in love with Brennan. I don't know. I'm not in love is. with Brennan. I don't know what it is about this guy. I, you, I find a lot of redeemable qualities about you. Really? Oh, let's yeah. Hear so why would but, I? But, but, yeah, but there's got to be. Uh, I think that Carl and Shuli I find are... redeemable qualities about Bob. So what? What about Shu oh. is the most redeemable quality? <laughs> if you had to give one, and you have to be able to do it. Um. <laughs> one re That's a. <laughs> I have to say, uh, I can't find any counsel. I don't know. I don't professionally, know. not personally, just professionally. It's a cop out. Professionally, one redeemable quality. I could come up with a redeemable quality about John. All right. I'm not gonna, but I can. Right. At least he has the guts to get on stage. There you go. I mean, and that that is a huge thing because, you know, one of the biggest fears in life is public speaking. Not for and me. I'm, I'm saying, but it is. Yeah. You, you hear the joke sometimes. It's like people fear public speaking more than dying. Yeah, but, yeah but, but again, they'll come with a caveat. The only reason he doesn't... Wait, Bob's fake so pull delusional. has it. Excellent and tipping garbage, man. Yeah, there you <laughs> go. <laughs> Vince is a sucker fish. I tweeted it. Buy me Mule's tweet, <laughs> please. Buy me Mule's tweet. Thank you. Buy me anything Mule-related. Thank yeah. you. You know... And put a monkey's, uh, put his face on a mule's ass, please. 
on Mule's ass. He thinks he's funny. No, no, no. I don't think. Wait, that's who's face like, on? I would say like a don't reindeer. worry he's about it. Like don't that, interrupt me. I'm in the middle of something, you idiot. <laughs> just do it. That delusional. Just, oh, yes. Just do what I said that you didn't hear. He is. <laughs> he still maintains that, you know, that I that I run away from him. Is that not delusional? Well, you have on certain situations when they were backstage yeah. and when he came on, when you came on to his show or he came on to mm-hmm. your show. Remember, I didn't him? see him backstage. Him and Dan, I, I didn't know how to scroll up. All right, then, like, then, then just have him on if you're willing to do. That. I didn't know how to scroll up. It's just there. It's there. <laughs> You know? <laughs> that's Vince. So that's Frederick <laughs> John, and there's Vince as the sucker lawyer. <laughs> Look at the way his writing is. <laughs> he points. He has an arrow over the head of whatever the fuck it is. He's got. He's got. Yeah. He's got the circle over. It, and I called them sucker lawyers, but not even sucker fish. It's a new species. This fucking guy. Uh. <laughs> <It's> too much. <laughs> Had him on twice, man. I don't know. I'm just saying, in the future, if he ever wants to come on. Why? Why? <laughs> it would be interesting, that's why. Not really. I mean, it'll just be another bore fest of him trying to be fun. Hey, dude, get a beer, buddy. I mean, come on. Come on, Vince. Uh, let's mm-hmm. see. Don't stink up my airways. <laughs> you have charisma. It's my job. And you know it. <laughs> Stop pretending that you don't know it because I know you know it. Shout out real quick. Uh, over 1,600 people still in here watching. Thank you, everybody. Hit like, hit subscribe, hit notification, and get yourself a membership. Five gets you in, 10 gets you everything, or at least turn on accept gifted memberships. The link is in our description. Mm-hmm. So that way, when Meredith goes out of her way to gift one, you Word get it. Word of on Braun. Yeah, we'll go all night. <laughs> All night. Hey, I'm down to finish yes. this package. Let's go. I join the Levy verse so I can leave here faster. <laughs> Get over there. Exit yeah. strategy, guys. Help him out. Exit Stuttering- left. <laughs> <laughs> if Stuttering John is now asserting that Vince is MJ, wouldn't Vince now be suing Stuttering John as well as Carl for false accusation? Mm-hmm. Bob Tips World Order. Hit the like button, J Dog says. Let's go. That is correct, J Dog. Uh, that is Vince. That's the main problem Vince had with Carl doing it. Uh, I dare anyone who thinks you guys aren't talented to watch Stuttering John and Vince Lawyer shows without you making fun of it. Thank you, Rumpel. Thank you. Appreciate it. Vince hair looked like a pussy. A pussy ran away on his head, or pussy runway on his like head. I don't know. Runway. Yeah, run, run away. Well, I mean, have you ever seen a pussy runway? I have not. <laughs> Uh, I've had, I've seen pussy run away from me. Yes. Mm -hmm. John looked at his finger like, where the fuck did you come from? (laughs) Exactly. Uh, Peppermint, peppermint mobile. Got that. Yes. Peppermint mobile, 15 bucks a month. Uh, serious question. Why is John so fixated on Bob doing crowd work? If the audience is laughing, who cares if it's crowd work? Do real comedian care? Great no, question. And and, and some, the people that know how to do it, like the room fucking goes crazy. Like, you know what I mean? Like, go watch Jay or any, you know, big You Jay, know what comedians any, have a problem with crowd work? Insecure comedians. People that can't do it. I mean, you got to be able to do it. You, you know, it, otherwise it just doesn't work. Well, the, the, the argument is always, well, write a bit. You know, that's real comedy. No, you can, comedy you can actually like- write crowd you can do that you know what i mean yes. it's no different it's writing it's still writing and it, but people don't get it well let me ask you this how many times have you talked to somebody in the crowd and and you stumbled onto something with them and from that you go i'm going to make a bit. a bit i'm going to make a bit out but of I that but i do right? it right there i'm That's saying but it's something yeah. you can you can actually turn into a bit that you don't need to do as crowd work you can just yeah. do it as a standalone bit and you discover it by doing crowd work. Yeah, you most know? people you see, it's just a recital. And I'll right. never be a recital. Never. Yeah. Bob likes to get to know people when he gets out there. It's fun. Uh, Vegas show, guys. And please, before the heat. All right. Vegas is on the list for sure. Zach with a buck 99. Thank you, Zach, for the super sticker, my friend. Radomatic. Did Stuttering John say tri-tip? No, 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 no. That's an 805 only thing, baby. 
I love Bob's glutes. Radomatic. Mm. Five bucks. Thank you. Uh, smug John is the worst. So punchable. I'm the smug one. Mm. Thanks for all the laughs. Perfect. I get to write this with with Mike and Zen out. James Quinn. Having I a have day. a feeling he's going to show up. I just smell him. I can yeah. smell him. I really <laughs> can. I'm not. I'm not kidding. Uh, Frog, you should try believing people too. One love. Yes. <laughs> yeah, Frog is angry at the world. You know, it's like a man that can't eat food, like regular food. Like, can you imagine trying to give that man a steak and watch mm-hmm. him eat it? He wouldn't even know how to cut it. Like, it's he's, embarrassing. He's a, he eats artichoke for dinner every night. No wonder he's angry. You'd be angry too. Imagine what his piss smells like. It's, it's, it's god awful. Stuttering John would be exactly like the stuttering lawyer in My Cousin Vinny. What a dummy. Joseph Silva. Mm. That would be great. Strangeland, thanks for another great show tonight, guys. Thank you, Strangeland. Oh, we're not even close to done. Yeah, come on. Let's go. He doesn't. I would rather interview you a thousand times over that guy. Yeah, and it's weird, too, because I never understood the origin of why you two started to hate each other. Yeah. I never did. He started the Uncle Rico shit. I didn't have a problem. Well, John, he, John, the, the morgue was probably 12 months late. You know, like he was trying. I mean, he wasn't working. He needed something. And I, and I said, I'm part of that fall, too. I said, look, let's focus on stern segments or what I was doing because he had a connection to the show and that wasn't working. He begged me to do out of the habitat, begged me because he because he he saw we were successful. And of course, sucker fish. Wants to attach himself to the big whale so he can get his meal. Begged me to do out of the habitat. And then I had to chase the guy down for the episodes because he wouldn't let anyone else edit it. So that way he can, you know, put in different shit. And and, and the whole pitch of the show was like, we're going to review footage that I have that nobody's ever seen of the habitat show with high pitch Eric in his apartment. I said, that's great. I love it. And the first show we do, he's like right out the gate. Oh, I have questions from Shuli's Anonymous that I want to ask. And it's like, oh, so now I'm your John. And it's like, okay, got it. Got it. Well, I'm not your John anymore, Bubba. Sorry. We're moving on, kid. I'm sorry. I was just reading something. Say it again. Yeah. I mean, <laughs> Shuli wasn't working. Nothing was working at what he was doing until no. they brought... No. I mean, and that's until a thing. He, he can't deny Carl's it. Idea. Yeah, until he ripped off Carl's idea, then... He wasn't making any money. He needed to make money desperately because he wasn't working. No. And even though, like, it it appears they're making money. Vince, no, they it, are. John, they are. You can't say they're not making okay, money. Vince, okay. You didn't okay. let me finish, but that's okay. Yeah, get, sorry. So then why, then, did they do six and, a, six and a half hours a day now? Because they're making They're not doing it's it because they're not making money. They do it because they're not making enough. I do one show, <laughs> and if you see the numbers that are posted every fucking day, John, John, okay, me and Brad- your numbers aren't much higher than mine on Levyverse. You know what I mean? It's like, mm-hmm. you know, you you're bringing in fucking, you know what I mean? Uh, uh, Four hundred, three fifty. Well, and, and on think a good about day, it. Six for for him to have a good day, that means double the insults against him and his family. Mm-hmm. And, and, you know, his life, his career, his mother, his father. I mean, think, think of how that money's being delivered, yeah. you know? And we don't, listen, we're, we're, we're fucking grateful and blessed to be in a position where people exactly. give a shit about this stupid shit, man. Yeah, I mean, it, it's a blessing uh, to be able to enjoy, you know, and have fun and laugh with people. I mean, but, that, but that, this that's is the goal. That's why you're in this business. And sitting there focusing on what everybody else is making is the number one reason why you will not make money doing this. You got to focus on how you need to make money. And you'll never smile. No. Brennan consistently do better than them. You know, when you break, don't forget Vince. He has to pay Bob. He has to pay fucking. Everybody worried about who I got to pay and how much everybody's making. Everybody's exactly. worried. I've never seen so many people worried about income for people based off of the theory that we don't make anything to begin with and it's all fake. Pick pick a fucking story, guys, yeah. and don't worry about it. Everybody's fine here. Yeah. Everybody's fine. 
fucking Kermit or whatever that fucking guy is. Kermit. He's got to pay Silent Mike, Zen Hauser, and then he's got to pay, I think, two other producers. Six. He's paying seven people have to Nine. share what he makes. But that's okay. Like, actually, like, I believe okay, more Vince, people. He hold on. Uh oh. But I don't, I don't pay anybody. So yeah, even I'm Inclu- even I'm including a- your wife and kids. And interesting, now that you're teaching again, so where does that money go? Does any of this income go towards what you owe? Does any of it go towards your mom and the 40 grand you owe her? I'm just curious. You got all this income coming in. You're doing great. A third of what they make. I still win. You understand? Yeah, but everyone's Always. making money though from it. That's the great thing that you've manufactured this world that you can actually. Then why couldn't he afford a flight to fucking, you know? Think about it, John. It's smart, smarter for him to not show up at that show. Why waste six hundred dollars, five hundred dollars for him to show up there? How much? Okay, then what you use your own organ like, you know like I mean, like I don't know. I, I don't know what kind of Jew they think I am. That you think I'm buying a fucking round trip ticket for six hundred dollars? You're out of your fucking mind. You crazy? crazy, and it was booked before. It, it was it was weeks before. Week this week, I'm getting uh, tickets for uh, Monday. I'm getting tickets for uh, Jersey, and uh, and I look forward to not attending that. Yeah, because they be because it, it's so smart that now his employees are going to use the same shit to get out of being on the well, show. That, this is How the dare thing. you show me one employee that's not here? Ah, uh, god damn it. Let's get to some super chats real quick. Wait, hold uh, on. I got. I got to. I got to leave. Go piss. I got to go. I got to no. I got to go to the chiropractor. They only had a uh, eleven twenty five appointment tonight, <laughs> so I have to get there. Uh, no. All right. I feel like you're telling me the truth. So you know what? Go for it, man. <laughs> According to Google, Vince the lawyer is forty six. Address found matches the one stuttering John mentioned in last night's show. Yeah. Well, you know, good for them. Yo, John timed me out last night like a biatch, and I didn't super chat. Nothing mean compared to what I say about you mongrels. FSJ, F. Vince Aloria. Love you, Bob Shuley. Love you, Jay Dad. Love you, brother. What is crowd work when you really think about it? Am I right? Sorry, just tuned in. Can I get a full recap? Does he still think Vince Aloria is MJ? Who's he suing next? I can't keep up. It's a madhouse. It's a madhouse. Uh, my finger. Ooh, ah, ah, it's better for finger picking. Mm-hmm. Yeah, finger picking good. Hit the laugh track, Frog. According to IMDb, Vincent and Bessie is a comedy writer and licensed attorney. A comedy writer? Uh, These tunnels in Alabama are confusing. Thank you. I only just did that for the tunnel ambiance for you there. Uh, DJ Davies. Michael uh, Cronin is a stand-up comic and an inspirational speaker with cerebral palsy, and he was a master of crowd work. Best part of his show. No excuses. DJ Davies. uh, Thank you, brother. Look into him. Mike Morse Fan Club here. This show is great tonight, and I can't explain why. (laughs) Thank you. (laughs) John's mom craves man meat. Shout out from Dublin, PA, baby. Let's go. How long is Mike's dinner tonight? Uh, hopefully mm-hmm. eternity. Uh, mm-hmm. Bob, when Artie had that pick of you two on his album, did you get any money or recognition from it? Also, may I get a whap for our wonderful Nikki? No, we just... Uh, uh, That's some wet-ass pussy. No, we, he just said, can I use it? Yeah, I said, yeah, do it. I don't know. That's it. You know? There you go. Now, yeah. now you're all caught up. Yeah, uh, Stuttering John in 2024 equals Hank the Angry Drunken Dwarf circa 1999. Actually, Hank had a lot more on the ball. Hate to say it. He, If he was honest with them and said, look, guys, it doesn't make any sense for me to go up there. Because then they'd have to share it with him, presumably. I think, John, they rented out that place and sold the ticket. Yeah. So it makes, if that's the case, I don't know. I don't have anything to back that up. Basically, they rented the theater and then sold the tickets and whatever yeah. they make, they make. But it obviously wasn't enough for him to fly there. Yeah, no. It would be, it would be stupid financially, short term for him to have done that. 
No, Fuck it wouldn't, you think it you think I can? <laughs> yeah, you think I'm 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 like you, John? You think I'm surrounded by cat litter and cat shit and fucking? I got I got one door in and out. But I got round ice, bitch. Anytime yeah. I want. Do you know about that? Long term, just like you said. And I look. Mark my words, Bob will leave before <laughs> the end of this year. He will. He's got two more chiropractor appointments. He's yeah. going to be leaving a few times. It's all up to you, end. people. If you join Levyverse, <laughs> <laughs> you want Bob gone? Go sign up to Levyverse, guys. Go, go. The 2025. Sorry, 2024. And I'm the one who's a drunk. Oh my god! I make one mistake. So yeah. So let's say Bob is still working there, January 1, 2025. Oh. What will you do? Will you do a show with? In fairness, John said he alone? wouldn't be working here in March of 2024. So that's this month. That is true. Uh, well, the month has just begun. Yeah. So let's see. Anything can happen. That KB could come in and sweep him off his feet, right? And take him <laughs> right from us. You don't think? You don't think there's a part of Bob that just wants to roll around in the hay with KB and Chad all over again and <laughs> reignite that that mega madness show? To sit there and go, Stevie Lee, I'll give uh, Stevie Lou, I'll give you ten <laughs> minutes on the show. Ah, oh, Bob can't wait to go back there. You kidding me? For two hours? No, I'm just making a prediction. Oh, well, making uh, a prediction. If you're not going to back it with anything, anyone can make random predictions. Oh, oh, so I can't make a prediction? I think the Yankees are going to win the World Series. I have to back it with something now. That's 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 a, a reason logic. why a reason why Muttering the Yankees Jake. are going to win the World uh, Series. Well, not a only reason that, why I'm going to leave. But if you bring that up at, at the pub, as John likes to say, and your mm. buddy goes, "Hey, let's make a bet." I don't think they will. Well, then you bet on it. Then you put yeah. something on it. Um, <laughs> short Friday, thanks for the two bucks. Vince is going to counter sue John for a fortune. Yeah, I think when they were they were saying like I was trying to get your. You can't get everything. a fortune from me. I hide everything. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. Check under the litter. <laughs> and they'll clip that and send it to Susanna. No, I do not hide anything. I just... Why would they send it to Susanna? Yeah. That's very telling, isn't it? Wow. Why would they send it to Susanna? Are you supposed to be sending something to her that you're not, John? Hmm. Interesting. Interesting. I'm just smart with how I handle my finances. Clear zone. Thanks for the tenor. <laughs> oh, Jesus. Vince, based on your responses to me on your stream today, you are either completely trolling or have zero understanding of civil procedure. Stop threatening lawsuits against Carl. Hmm. LOL. Yeah, was only, he kept asking me about the procedure, the civil procedure, what would occur. It, if somebody sued me, not you, someone else sued me. Ugh. It's just so bad. It can't even get any worse. Oh, oh. Jesus <laughs> Christ. All right. You sent him the link. Have what? We start, have we started yet? Oh, my God. <sighs> Fuck. It's you like somebody kicked right. me in the stomach. Yeah. Oh. I'm taking time out from actually having a life to be here. What is on that glass? <laughs> what do you have paint on there what is that is that oh yeah yeah it's not my glass it's it's our our host's glass and i'm i'm drinking from okay it. guys <laughs> a different woman's glass oh god look at denim mike uh, <laughs> denim mike <laughs> mike horse <laughs> yeah. uh hey mikey good to see Hello. you thank Hello. you for, for for someone sending me the link uh, where were you where would you, you go tonight <laughs> Oh, actually, we went out and uh, had a wonderful, very expensive dinner and uh, mm. uh, saw a little entertainment. Now we're back at the at the house here, and I figured you guys need some help, so here I am. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because just, we're just wrapping things up right now. Perfect. Uh, actually. Uh, so, I, so, so I still get know. credit for this show. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh, uh, let's do these few <laughs> super chats, and we'll get out of here, all right? No. Uh, all right, let's keep going. In California, and then I had a valid cross claim against Carl or someone in New York. Of course, I can include it in that actual lawsuit. That's what the courts want. Or there could be a different strategy that we're working on that it will totally bypass California courts here. 
and every party can move to have the case moved to a different court if they wanted to. I mean, that's all part of civil procedure. I don't think there was any uh, misstatement on my part with that. Does my brother-in-law call me? What? Which brother-in-law? What? My brother-in-law call it. <laughs> my brother-in-law. <laughs> uh, got Bilbo Baggins calling me. Hold on. <laughs> From Susanna? Because you're not yes, married. She, Susanna's brother. What's his name again? Doug. He's my Doug. Oh, yeah, Doug. He's such a moron. He's one of my uh. closest friends in the world. Really? <laughs> he's the greatest... But now he's sober. He's not so good. So yes. ah, <laughs> ah, wow! Ah, oh. <laughs> now I'm glad I came on. He's my best friend in the world till he stopped drinking. Now, oh, I think, wow. now I think he's a cop. What do you think of that? Really? Well, because he probably deal. doesn't. He doesn't deal with him because if you're sober, if you're an AA, you don't you don't hang out with those people. He probably yeah. also sticks up for his fucking sister more now uh, that yeah. he's sober. And that, I'm sure, yeah. John is not happy about. <laughs> what do you mean? You didn't care about this before. <laughs> <laughs> wow. I mean, he's the greatest. But now he's sober. He's not so good. So yeah, it's it, fucking it, annoying when people are sober. It really it, <laughs> It's it, such a buzzkill. Yeah. You know, it's funny he said that. He ruins my buzz. I'm like, Doug, <laughs> you don't remember anything I said. I was trying to explain to him. The fucking dabble verse. Oh my god! I <laughs> wish I had tape of this drunken uh, idiot trying to explain the dabble verse to his brother. Uh, Why would which you I've been want telling him to come into this again? We we talked about this the other day when he was in Atlantic City and they and they recorded him in that Uber and it's an Uber driver he just met and he's telling him the whole. Then they troll my kids. Then they they got me. They got gigs canceled. They got it's a ten minute drive. From the casino to the venue, and he's telling this guy the whole life story. <laughs> About for fucking the last three years. Three years. Now that he's sober, he's like, wait, what? Oh, John, who's this cool guy at the pub that knows about uh, Dabblers Anonymous? This cool guy. He's not cool. I. You what know, was I, his name again, though? His first name? I wrote him out of my life. No, I'm not going to say. I'm, I ain't giving you this. I'm not giving you everything, Vince. I'm suing you. <laughs> I'm going to tell you everything. Well, I mean, that guy's cool, though. He reads, da he dabbles in all right. Who was your last client and how much did he pay you? Well, I mean, I can't ask certain things. Well, I can't answer everything. I like. Why? I'm not going to fucking. Because the guy's a fucking douche. Putting what they're saying about me. <laughs> we we all want to honor that guy. That's why <laughs> we love him. <laughs> That's why I'm not saying his name. Uh, let's see. Oh, what does he look like? At least. <laughs> Vince. Is he black or white? Black. Right. Such a Outlaw A stays with the two bucks. You should give Vinny a polygraph taste. Oh, I would take that. it. Actually, it's a good. I would take it in hundred as quick as possible. Well, how Lord. about you administer? It? No, I. I yeah, give yourself a lie detector. Okay. <laughs> is is there a dumber human being <laughs> wow. walking around this planet than this idiot who just told Vince to give himself a lie detector test? <laughs> oh, look at this super chat. <laughs> That's that. <there. laughs> <laughs> you, you folded like the cheap suit you wore to DC. <laughs> Just my own I'm not for it. Yeah, I know. That's it. But I'll do it. If anyone wants to set it up, I'll do it. That's why I've been saying I'll say I'm broke. And I'm not broke. I'm incredibly cheap. <laughs> oh, incredibly yeah, broke. <laughs> That's why when I heard about any union dues fees, I know you weren't paying them. <laughs> uh, let's see. Well, Dick it's enough. a fact. He's a non dues payer, this motherfucker. Yeah. <laughs> Friars, union, everything. I mean, things are fiber. Sam Kinson had a term for comments like Bob Lee. A stag comment. There you go. Filthy crowd work. Better suited for a bachelor party before a donkey show. <laughs> El donkey show. You know, yeah. I did. Did, did he say he was a show. he was a friar? No. He's uh, uh, so he said last night you weren't here last night because yeah. uh, you know. You're uh, Listen, you're, having, revolting. Having, you're revolting against the uh, network. No, this is well, the whole. I'm just, I'm just revolting. Yes, uh, <laughs> you are. Uh, but uh, he he um, uh, fuck. What was it? Uh, 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 what'd you ask again? I just forgot because I was thinking of you being revolting. I'm sorry. <laughs> uh, that he said he's a friar. Oh yes. So Jackie 
uh, vouch for him, right? Because okay. that's how it's got to work there. Right, right. You need, yeah, yeah. You, need, you need somebody on the inside to, to bring you up. And, right. then, and then he said that he stopped going because you still have to pay yeah. even if you don't eat there. Yeah, there's a membership. Yeah. yeah, yeah. So he said, so so Vince says, so you you stop paying, and he said, no, I just quit. <laughs> I <laughs> just, just quit. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I, well, I I, I will it. check. Yeah, I will check to see if he was ever a member. He had to. Jackie definitely. Jackie and Gary at that time were there and okay. were eating there all the time, and I'm right. sure he wanted to be with those guys, and he right. and then he eventually just stopped paying. He's yeah, not. It, it ain't cheap. Yeah. No, it's not. He's right, and uh-huh. Kennison's right. Yeah, Vince, Kennison, how's he doing? You can take your head all you want. Yeah, come on. <laughs> you come see me. Oh, one please. Time. When I perform, I want you to be objective. And when okay. you come see me and see my act, then I want you to get back to me. Yeah. Okay. Okay. How's he going to do that? To- you don't perform. Uh-huh. Yeah, please. He's not going to see your act because he'll be too busy drinking the beers backstage yeah. that you have for yourself. Comics <laughs> with real material that is all perfectly scripted in from 1997. In Imagine right. that going watching the scripted shit all yeah, the Yeah, perfectly Come scripted. On. Perfectly scripted, uh, yeah. Bob. Yeah. Anybody can script a comedy show, but right. to perfectly script it? Yeah. Exactly. Only John right. can do that. Of course. And you close with something filthy like I do or something intuitive like I used to do. And then you leave the audience laughing. (laughs) Intuitive. And and then, you know, I'm telling you, Bob is not that guy. He's not smart. Well, three things for you. You let the mic control you. So control the mic, dress better. There you go. That's that's bullshit. (laughs) Control the mic, dress better. Bullshit. How many fucking times do do you want me to send you pictures of stand-ups with the mic on the mic stand? I'm talking about you. What you need to do. Yeah, my style is different than what you think. I get that some He's talking about what you're dressing, right? Well, he's talking about John doesn't take the mic out of the mic stand and move the mic stand. He just leaves the mic in the mic stand. And and so that's one thing. It's lazy. Yeah, and he's going, he goes, I'm a different kind. I'm a mic in the stand kind of artist, Vince. What don't you understand? And if you are a mic in the stand kind of comic, you got to have really good stuff because you yeah. have no energy. Right. Yeah. You know? It's got to be killer. Yeah. Yeah. It's you're standing in one spot. You're in one spot right. and most likely. And you're, yeah, absolutely. You're, you're the shit that he does is not, you know what I mean? He shouldn't even be on stage with the mic. <laughs> yeah, right. That's true. You should be running cables on the stage and that's it. And then run off. Let the real performers go up. Can let the mic control. I him, like that's to have yours. You know, I like. I know you try and more. lose the alcohol too. So like three things. No, I like to have the beer. I like to have. I'm the an alcoholic. Thing. I like to look around. I don't want to be walking around. I hate that. I'm too lazy. School. School. Ah, uh, the truth. Yeah. Get a big whiff of the truth right there. <laughs> now there's the Mike Boschetti. Uh oh. Oh. Go ahead. Go ahead. Oh. Man, I told you the story. About Mike Boschetti. Mm -hmm. And Mike Boschetti is the guy that I fucking put on the the, put on the road. Nobody knew who he was. Put him on the stuttering John and Friends. So got him booked on Stern, which is the shit ways because had 40 to 60 million people listening, which is a load of horse shit. But we'll go with that, you know. During his what? terrestrial heyday prime, hundred percent, one hundred percent. But he is such a drunken mess. He thinks I meant forty to sixty million listening on Sirius. Right. So. And I took care of Mike. Idiot. I flew him out to L.A., put him up, paid for the flight, got him an audition for the fucking for my agent. Did you Gersh, try to fuck him? Is that why show. you did this? The only other person I know that he offered this to was your wife when you guys had a fight. Right. He offered her a flight to his place. Right. And you can't audition in New York for the Tonight Show? I don't know. I don't know what I, he was. I, would, I mean, I, you I were would, working I would, for the Tonight Show. definitely send New somebody to New York to see somebody of, of from course. New York. There's no yeah. doubt. Mike, you worked as a writer for the Tonight Show from New York. So, I mean, why yeah. couldn't you? Right. Mm-hmm. That's what I'm saying. 
And what happens? He was on the wall. The only reason he never got the Tonight Show is because, you know, to, is because you they didn't for really him. have comedians anymore. And when they did, it had to be somebody in L.A. that was passed. And he was passed. Okay. But the problem was, you know, it would be last minute. And he could never get there in time. Okay. Be, you know. Okay. Wait a minute. Now, I think this is just a fact. Go ahead. Last minute, right? Yeah. It's something nobody, they have to go over the material that you're Correct. doing on the show. Right. So Correct. How can it be like, are they just going to call someone and go, no, okay. It, yeah. You're right. It's one thing to replace a guest who is going to sit on the couch and do panel or whatever. It's, right. it's a, 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 a comedian. Right. You're hundred percent right. It's got to, it, they have to see the material. They have to know what you're going, mm -hmm. going to say the network, the channel, you know, they want to know. Yeah. They uh, tell you what you, if you can't do a joke, any joke. Yeah. Yeah. yeah I mean, most people who you see do sets on, on late night, there's, you know, there's three or four passes done before that mm -hmm. set is what you hear, you know? So I'm sure a lot of people know that. Living in Staten Island. So, we, you know, but I did what a loving friend would do a loving friend and also because i believe that he could be like the next different kind of rodney dangerfield so i'm kind of rodney dangerfield the new different kind of rodney dangerfield mm -hmm. that's an opinion from a loving friend and uh really what he's saying is i saw him as a way to make money so i was mm -hmm. i was gonna fly him out when have you known john to do something nice for somebody never not yet and do it for his own wife when they were married, when she was shitting out kids for him. I think he's going to start now with Mike Bichetti. Mm -hmm. And I wanted to help him. Oh, I'm a good guy like that. <clears throat> so I asked him to come on. And he says, sure. And then we book a date. Then he cancels. He says, yeah, I, I forget. He's got the computer issues. Mike. Those computer issues didn't seem so bad today on Brennan. <laughs> <laughs> so he has the computer issues. I go, okay. Then then we book another date. Then he says he can't do it because he's got an audition. And he really wants to get the audition. Ooh. Fuck off, Mike. Whoa. <laughs> then I see him on Brennan. We need that for the <laughs> 10 gifted. 20 gifted, you know? What do we do? Yeah, he's got it. Today. And I even offered... <laughs> and I even offered to pay him. I offered to pay him. John, you don't have to pay me. I shouldn't have to. After all, I did for the fucking guy. Here we he go. Said no. yeah. He said Ooh. no. Here he we goes, go. You don't have to pay me. And then he starts yelling at him. But really? Well, that's great. I don't want to. After all, I've done for you, you piece of shit. <laughs> And then he fucking shows up on Brennan. Tells me he's too busy. He says he'll do my shows before he does Brennan today. He says, I'll be free next Thursday or Friday. I said, all right, next Thursday, don't fuck me. Mm. Wow. And he fucks me. Wow. He goes on <laughs> Brennan today. Wow. So no computer issues. Apparently that audition wasn't that important. I'm like, <laughs> 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 Oh man! Pochetti's never had computer issues over here. Never, no, never. We did no. it. He, he came on Miserable Men once. It was just a black screen. All you could do was hear him. <laughs> you couldn't see him. Where and Bob's asking him if he got a new haircut. Like, <laughs> yeah, look, we actually it, made it funny. Yeah, yeah. That's when he did come on with no computer problems. <laughs> this, this is this is when his computer worked fine. <laughs> 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 yeah we've all been there yeah uh shout out over 1600 still Woo! here jamming out with us come on let's finish strong hit like hit subscribe hit notification and uh member up please it helps us it helps the network the boys in the back five gets you in ten gets you everything or at least turn on accept gifted memberships link is in the description somebody might gift you one thank you I'm not going to trash you. I just am so <laughs> disappointed, Mike. I am disappointed, Mike. You blow me off for Brennan? Where the fuck was Brennan? Did he fly you out to L.A.? 
Did he wow. take you on the road? <laughs> you owe me. Did he get you wow. booked on Stern? Did he give you a bubble bath? <laughs> Did he loofah your back? <laughs> <laughs> Did he get you an audition for the Tonight Show producers? Did he brush your hair gently and sing, <laughs> go to sleep, little baby? Did he do that? Did he? Did he get you an audition for Gersh? Gersh. Gersh. Did he squirt in your face? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. No, I did. Me. That's it. And who. you fucked me first, <laughs> Ferrari. Hey, can you can you clip that, please? Yeah, and you yeah. fucked me and come all over <laughs> me. <laughs> when you blew me off, when you started fucking being Artie's announcer, Artie and Nick's. Here's a question. Mm -hmm. Why doesn't he have this level of anger for Kevin Brennan mm -hmm. right. that he does for Mike Buschetti? Does anybody have a guess? Anybody know? Because I have a theory. He's in love. Yeah. No. No. He's a bully. And he thinks Mike is an easy target. And so he's he's extra amped up and extra nasty because it's Bichetti. He thinks right. Bichetti can't cut him down to size. Mm -hmm. He's wrong. I'd put my money on Bichetti. He would light his ass up. In well, a I, I think we should have Mike on. Let's go. Let's reach yeah. out. I don't know yeah. if he'll come on. He's doing MLC a lot, right. but reach out it. to him. I'm doing it right now. Do it. That's right. It's 1130 at night. I'm sure he'll. Well, not he'll... right now, but I, I mean, oh. I'm, <laughs> I'm doing it now, but not for All him right. to come on now. Mike's drunk. All right, you alcoholic. So, <laughs> but when do you want him on? I don't know. Let's ask him to come on tomorrow night. Okay. Ask him to come on and tomorrow night. you blew me night. off then. I'm talking to Mike. Mm -hmm. <laughs> then I Sorry. kept calling you and texting you, and you wouldn't return it. Then you come and do my show. And you said you were embarrassed. <laughs> That's why you didn't return my calls. Well, how embarrassed are you now, Mike? <laughs> I think he meant he was embarrassed to do your show. Uh, I don't think he was embarrassed not to get back to you until you know. Uh, let's see. <laughs> this is me calm right now. Whoa. Really? Because this is how angry I am. But you're angry. This is another fucking time where there's no good deed goes unpunished. It was this another time. time. I'm getting fucked over by Mike Boschetti. Fucked over by your because arm trainer. Because he wants to do KB. <laughs> but he don't want to do my show. <laughs> he keeps blowing me off. Oh, tech issues. <laughs> then he's got to study for an audition. For a week! Study. I said, Mike, for an hour? He goes, well, I really want to nail this audition. <laughs> I go, Mike. <laughs> He goes, I have an audition for something. He goes, oh, all right. Well, call me when you're done practicing. He goes, I'm going to be practicing for the whole next week. <laughs> Imagine <laughs> that. This is like when that chicky e emailed. She, he goes, would you like to go grab a drink? She goes, hit me up in a month. She goes, I'm really busy this entire month. <laughs> you can't even eat in an hour. Whoa. So, I mean, come on. Yeah, take the hint. He's right, Fuck Sean. It. Take the hint. And then he does Brandon, so he blew me off. Okay, Brandon, you have him. Fuck it. I don't care. He's yours. I don't need I don't, I don't care. And this, that's it. Strike two, Mike. First time, shame on you. <laughs> Second time, shame on me. I'm out of the Bochetti business. <laughs> I'm not going to sit here and trash him. You just did. He's got a good heart, but he makes really bad decisions. And this is just another guy who I try and help and I do everything I can for. And the guy says, fuck you to me because he smells green you. pastures somewhere else. Now, earlier we watched him say when Vince was on, I don't ever get mad if people go on other shows. <laughs> Remember that? Uh, yeah. Totally. Well, look who's a little upset. Mm. Throw it. Oh, do it. Show Mikey me uh, business. Let's <laughs> see. I go, Mike. Want to come on my show? He goes. And what? He, goes, he goes. Hi, John. I'm just <laughs> making right my way back into the messages. Yeah, of course, of course. Sick for weeks. Can I do it next Monday? It'll be uh, three for sure. Okay, next Monday. <laughs>
I love Mike, but he comes up with sicknesses pretty, oh. Oh, pretty yeah. regularly. Uh, so, and you can't take it personally. No. You got to You yeah. just know it's Mike. Like anyone who's worked with Mike knows this is this. I is could it. read. I, there's what the last time we asked him on. I have it sure. here. I could read it. I, I've been severely sick in bed, really bad. If I'm right. back to normal, I would love to. Let me go back. Uh, uh, and then he was on Brennan. Here's, here's, here's the one I pull up before that. Uh, I've just been busy trying to get healthy and working on other stuff. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Yeah. And so that's it's, Mike. It's, and we love him. Yeah. And there's nothing wrong with it. It's okay. You know, when he comes on, it's a home run every time. He's great. February 26th. Don't want to leave you hanging, Mike. I go, sure, man. 630. Your time work. He writes, perfect. Will be great fun. Hope you're doing great. We'll plug and promote it as well. Then he writes me again. Like I said, I'm making my way back. I'm doing yours on the 26th next Monday and Brennan this Monday. I go, cool, man. I'm not Kevin. I'm not going to go, yo, you can't do Brennan. But this is what he's mad about our- today, that, <laughs> that Mike is on Brennan and not on his show. Right, I'm on, why on why February does he 7th- only go for people that are on Kevin's show? I don't get right. it. It's a great question. Like, I don't know. I don't know. There are, there are other guests out there. Huh. Yeah. yeah. Well, but, but, but forget guests. Where are all his friends? Where are all his his <laughs> They're <contacts>? in Canada. <laughs> They're in Canada. <laughs> Steve, on the on twenty first. Good job on MLC. Are we still confirmed for Monday? He goes, "Yep." We are. It may be a bit after six thirty. He's having me come back for a rebuttal on Monday. Just giving you a heads up, and don't, but don't want to leave you hanging. Uh, <laughs> let's see. Um, hi, John. How are you? Monday's going to be too long of a day for me to do your past <laughs> podcast. Want to do it on Tuesday, seven p.m. my time. That's I like that. The Monday has the same hours that it always has. He goes, it's going to be too long of a day for me today. Sorry. <laughs> so 24, so, uh, 24 hours. Yeah. 24. 26 hour. I'll be exhausted. <laughs> right. 24. I totally do. Your yeah. you this way I can focus on your show instead of rushing off one show to do another. It's not like stand up that you can do four shows a night. Mike shit way you can, but he's desperate for money. I'm still being cool. Sure. Thanks. Can't wait. So 7 p.m. Tuesday, my time. It's like those lizards. The <laughs> yeah. He just like grabs a fly and goes back into reading. <laughs> I go, sure, man. Oh, that artist, uh, the brilliant uh, Lockie, he's making us a John Cornhole thing <gasps> for Huntington oh, wow. Beach. So you're going to be able to play uh, Cornhole. Great. That it's great. He's, he sent me some of his design ideas that he has. and oh. It's brilliant. Brilliant. We have so many brilliant people out there mm-hmm. watching and supporting us. Thank you. About to hit 1,700 people in here. This is insane. We've been on for two and a half hours. Goes against everything. Yeah. It can't be real. John. <laughs> and don't tell anyone. I want to be a surprise. Thank no you. worries. We'll not tell anyone. Then I write him. Today at four, right? Seven your time. Hi, John. Just working on getting my connection. <laughs> <laughs> uh, and phone in sync, and I hit you know how to spell. Getting my connection and phone in sync. They seem to be they seem to be working against each other. <laughs> Had a problem last night. And well, kept cutting it out. So I need a new phone and regular computer. If for some reason I can't get it together for tonight, my brother-in-law will be here later this week. So he's canceling again. I'm telling you, if you're mm-hmm. behind the wall, if you have access uh, behind the wall, you find the miserable men shows with Bushetti on. Maybe, oh. guys, maybe we can put in uh, the miserable men section of the Discord the episode numbers or the actual links to the episodes that Bushetti's on. They're mm-hmm. they're amazing. He's so great. Right. And if John hard- had, had given a shit about uh, Bushetti for the last ten years, ah. he, would, he would know. Uh, yeah. What, yeah. what you go through to try to get uh, uh, Mike on your show. Well, right. And Mike would have been on his show in the last 10 years. Yeah. You know what I mean? Right. Tech and a master electrician. And I was like, has Brennan got to you? He bullies all my guests. I hope you don't fall for it. He goes, no one ever gets to me. I put up with Artie, LOL, but Artie got to him. Uh, I'm my own man. Now, I know you're not, Mike. You're <laughs> Brennan's boy. <laughs> and as you know, let me try to fix this mess. <laughs> And if I can't, 
my brother-in-law uh, will, I'm not high tech, as you know. I go, I know, Mike. I just, you know, I go, he just tries to deal. God damn right, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Can you put up Jay dead? Yeah, I was going to say, I yeah. may have to call Lock, Locky. Uh, Kate Meany Cornhole gave the whole so big no one misses. I, you might be right. We may have to scrap it and do a whole new uh, version. Uh, he tries to make a big deal to all my guests because he makes so much money on his show. I do okay, but not as well as him. I'll even pay you a little bit, but I can't pay as much as him because he makes 900 a show, and I only make 100 <laughs> At least that's <laughs> that's wonderful. It's so subtle. That's the, <laughs> the Chuckster. I'm not really aware of the, the Chucksters on fire lately. Uh, yep. Actual yep. mouse on every show, but I will certainly then you mow you something. You're my and friend, money. Mike. I think you know that. <laughs> you Hi, John. I know you're aim. my friend. It's not even about the money. Let wait, did he really? Wait, I'm yourself. sorry. I was so I was so yeah. he was saying that that he couldn't send as much as as Kevin would. As Kevin, because Kevin makes 900 a show, and he does the actual mouse on every show. But I will certainly then you owe you something. You're my friend, Mike. I think you know that. Hi, John. I know you're my friend. It's not even about the money. Let me get my net computer stuff in order. We'll talk later this week. I go, cool man. Cool man. When can you do it? Hi, love what you said about me. Uh, about us in L.A. next Wednesday, I have something I'm shooting in the city on Monday. I have to get ready for I go, so not this week, Mike? Just say, so not this week. He goes, not this week. I'm shooting something big. I have to be ready on Monday. What happened? What happened? <laughs> I go, just for an hour? <laughs> Stop for a second. Stop for a I got a response. Yeah. Mike. How are you? Thanks so, so much for asking. Sadly, I'm not going to say who, just had major procedure on his back. I need to stay with him. I'm so sorry. I, I have to keep uh, keep having bad timing. There it is. That's Mike. That's, That's Mike. Him. And we love him, and we will ask again. And yep. and he will eventually come on. He's a good yep. egg. We have a long history with Mike, every single one of us. We love and respect the guy. Yep. Uh, one, one of my... Loves in comedy, Mike. Uh, yeah, Bushetti, definitely not the, more. He is the best. What? Yeah, nothing. Let's go. Let what? me see how it goes. I need to nail this. <laughs> Fucking Mike. Fuck you, Mike. Oh. What? I go, Mike. Come on, man. It takes you more than an hour to eat. <laughs> Hold on. So exactly. the one episode, the one episode I did see with Mike, they were messing with him by saying he needs to get closer <laughs> to the point where it's just an eyeball on camera. <laughs> Don't we have that picture? Didn't you put it up? Yeah, we have that yeah. We yeah, several. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Let me see a few. Give me a little give me a little gallery. Yeah, we go get closer. Get closer. <laughs> yeah, that was yeah. That was a yeah. Good times. He goes, LOL, LOL. I could do next Thursday, Friday, or day, John Mike. I go Thursday, March 7th. Don't fuck me. LOL. I will not. <laughs> Can't wait. It'll be fun. So am I. <laughs> there it is. That's the one. That's the one we're like. Yeah, we go. As soon as he got that close, we go perfect. 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 We go stay right there. And then hey, Mikey. <laughs> that's our space cookie over there. Yeah. Love him. No. No. Uh, let's see. Blocked. <laughs> You're blocked. I don't want anything to do with you. Fuck off. Uh, I'm done. I'm out of the bullshitty business. <laughs> <laughs> There's so many good ones in yeah. here. Yeah. That's, 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 yeah. That's the old, uh, the old, yeah. Throat. yeah. This is wow. Mark Burns all over these. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> <This is awesome. laughs> Mark was the one who discovered that. <laughs> Gina the Joke Man. I remember that. Yeah. Mark's the one who discovered that Levy's face fits any anyone, <laughs> anything, and it never looks odd. Never stands out any oh, other than it is. Yeah. yeah. Done. The beer. Done. <laughs> uh, let's see. This is why I tell you, go back and watch the old Miserable Men's. They're great. They're, yeah. There's a huge archive of them. Uh, a lot of episodes behind the wall. Fucking hell. I mean, is everyone a fucking crunt? Does anybody... And Mike, let me tell you something. Yeah, it's all uh, it's all something. them, John, you not you. Yeah. Wait, hold on. He's about to tell Mike Ooh. something. Don't do Ooh. that. A, you don't do it to friends. B, you yeah. don't do it to people that have helped you <laughs> more than any of these fucking assholes. 
But see, it's unprofessional, Mike. <laughs> book something, then cancel. Book another day, then cancel. Wait. Book another day, and then cancel. Wait, that <laughs> yeah, what do you think you are? The Shuli Network? That, <laughs> you know, if you do that in this business, word gets around. Trust me. <laughs> Word will get this, around. He's in his 50s. Uh, yeah. Word, yeah. Word. Wait, don't worry. Once you start getting a bad rap in the Canoga Park podcasting community, Wait. it's all downhill. <laughs> so Bashetti will not be working as a substitute teacher. That's right. <laughs> yeah. John, John has his picture up like uh, a <laughs> Vegas casino. No, no uh, entry, please. Uh, oh, that was the package. There you go. Wow. Beautiful. Uh, we got yeah. super chats. We got to read, but I also just real quick, Mike, did you do the show with us last night? I, I was in for a little bit. You, you saw the beginning where uh, he talked about Vince. Now he feels Vince is muttering Jay. You saw all that, right? I, well, I, I've, I've, I've caught up because you know I yeah. care. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> this was fun. This was him getting asked in a chat about teaching again. And I always like to see John when you know, like we know yeah. that he's lying. It's mm -hmm. fascinating to watch. Right. It's like when you know a guy's bluffing in poker and you yeah. just you're watching, you're going, these are all his tells. This mm -hmm. is what he does when he's lying. So this is uh, I just wanted to play this real quick. It's not long. Uh, Dabblers Anonymous, by the way. <laughs> <laughs> Pretty fly for a short SP guy. Thank you. Edward Chaser Esquire. Does Fairfax know they hide? <laughs> Sex pest. <laughs> What's Fairfax? <laughs> it's amazing. I don't know what the fuck room is going out. So the guys lived in LA for 20 years. Right. Fairfax is in is in Hollywood. Everybody knows Fairfax. A everybody's yeah. heard of it. Especially right. if you've lived there for 20 fucking years and right. worked in entertainment. And in the school I, systems. Uh, and in the school system, <laughs> correct. <laughs> I don't even go on this shit anymore. I just can't. It's just nonstop bullshit. I I, I went on one of the dabble things that Yeah, nonstop bullshit. Everybody's lying. <laughs> Everybody's yeah. lying except wow. him. Amazing. Uh, who wrote that? Who posted that? Stuttering John's alt put that up. Mm -hmm. So thank you for that, Stuttering John's alt. But yeah, he's uh, he's he's on fire. He's uh, lying over and over, over and over every day. And uh, well, he should be in front of an embassy on fire. But yes, <laughs> <laughs> let's go, Delco 2012s at Jeff Cup in Richmond, VA. Uh, FVTL, FSJ, JDT, let's fucking go, baby. Boom. Come on. Uh, is it creepy that I want a little Vince the Lawyer doll that shivers and wets itself when it thunders? <laughs> no. No, I, I think it's, I think it's, uh, I think the real one does the same thing. So, and, I think and uh, John didn't go on today. Mike. No, he did not. He Ooh. was drinking heavy tonight at the bar. I got reports from eyewitnesses, uh, close to four hours at the pub tonight. Wow. So we were hoping maybe he might come on a drunken mess, but he didn't. Uh, keep hitting the ash button on the side of its head, says Ham <laughs> Ham. Uh, oh, I can't make a prediction? <laughs> My finger <laughs> point. Oh, I can't make a prediction. That was a funny life. Checking in from Sarf London, isn't it? Hello, mofos. Stuttering John increasingly reminds me of Eric the Midget every time I tune into his transatlantic weirdness whatever stuttering john has i can't catch it from this far away right cunt chops you're safe my friend uh, hopefully and i like that it's cunt chops 23 does that mean yeah. there's 22 other cunt chops <laughs> oh yeah <laughs> very wow. popular very popular reels oh, man mike Bam. is here so i donate uh, love you mike thank so you we, reels you found the guy Go Liverpool. Goal in the 99th. Keep on snarfing. Let's go. Come on. Great game today. Hi, boys. I joined TSN because of Rico, but you're so good that now I'm loving all the shows. S SJ, FTL, wouldn't know funny if it was laced in their coat. <laughs> Boom. Strudel on fire. 
Julie versus Gary, 315-17 was incredible. Baba bullied you. This was the day after his birthday, no less. He said only 10% of your material was good. Wow. Yeah, I mean, we weren't seeing eye to eye at that point. Right. But that fight, I've said it, that fight mm -hmm. changed everything for me. Because after that fight, I got in the studio 100, 200% more than any other time because I stopped trying so hard. I stopped analyzing why the fuck I wasn't in there and just fucking let it happen. So everything happens for a reason, man. Mm -hmm. Mr. Obvious, Mike Morse is here. Hey, Bob and Shuli. There you go. Why does John look exactly the same as yesterday's show? Is this yesterday? <laughs> Time is a flat surface in the devil verse. Yes. Yep. Yes. Uh, here's an idea for a book. Everyone John ever worked with tells their story about what an asshole mooch in great John is. New York yeah. Times bestseller. Isn't that like the that Saturday Night Live book where everybody had a shitty thing to say about Chevy Chase? Remember that? <laughs> right. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. Sean, thank you for the 99, buddy. Appreciate it. Listen, it'd sell more than Ha Ha History. <laughs> oh, don't, you know. Yeah. It would. <laughs> Holy shit, we're still live? Let's go all night long. We're getting to these super chats and we're signing off, buddy. So, so I was wondering, John, Saw Stuttering John open for Artie at the Nokia Theater in L.A. Almost started a riot. Love <laughs> Bob's lips. Yeah, that was legendary. Uh, Artie's told that story. John's yep. told it. I thought Stuttering John didn't need guests on his show. Isn't that exactly. great? Yep. He gets so mad these people won't come on and then tells you at the same time he doesn't need guests. Why would Mike go on Stuttering John when he can get paid by KB? Right. Oh, Pichetti? Yeah. Right. Yeah, yeah. absolutely. Uh, hey, Vogel, sorry, I have nothing Ooh. more to say. The past two nights have been amazing. Don't ever stop. Even after stuttering, John drops dead later this year. Vogel, we'll stay on for you, pal. Thank you, my friend. Skula. <laughs> Kate Meany Cornhole has played with a basketball. <laughs> guys are unreal. Steven Gross becoming a member all by himself. Behind my paywall. He says, I want to see this bonus shit. I don't understand blocking as a punishment. I would only do it if they were spamming and or constantly messaging mean shit. Agreed, G-Rob. Right, right. Agreed. Thanks for helping to watch this fool. Fun show again. Thank you, Korean Idol, Shuli Ju. And last but not least, Casper. He has a face made for punching. Yes, Amen. But enough about Mike Morris. What? We're here to talk about John. Hey, listen. Thank you, uh, everybody. Two hours, 46 minutes wrapping it up here tonight you guys are fucking amazing hit like on your way out if you don't mind hit subscribe if you're not hit notification if you're new here and if you didn't get a membership gifted to you by all means sign up here or patreon patreon we have uh audio conversions of everything we do here on the network and most important bsshowlive.com yes. we got live shows coming up end of this month march 29th point pleasant uncle Vinny's comedy club March 30th, Governors, Levittown, Long Island. And then May 17th and 18th, that's right, Huntington Beach, yeah. California. No doubt about it. All right, we'll be out in Cali, Huntington Beach, the rec room, four shows, early show stand-up, late shows live, Uncle Rico. Going to have some guests. Come on out. Dabbleverse Elite will be there. You should be there, too. All the links to get your tickets, bsshowlive.com. Yes. And that's it. Anything else, boys? We good? Oh, we good. I'm doing that gig oh. in uh, March 16th at the Laughing Stock Comedy Club. Oh, yeah. Brantonville, Great PA. club. Laughingstockcc.com. Join Levyverse, join Perry Carvalho Live, and we'll see you all tomorrow. Bye, everybody. That's all for the Uncle Rico Show. That's all for the Uncle Rico Show. Grab one more beer and shout out, Skull! Good. <laughs>